A nice trip to the hot springs would fix all that. I think that's a great idea. For an episode. How do you? Is Chris gonna peek? Is Chris a hot spring peeper? Pe <laughs> I was thinking. I uh, try to oh, climb Lord. the fence to see over to the girl side. I had the hot springs made uh, a lot earlier in the campaign when only Adam was like the only girl. Like Sky was the only female in our group, and so I was like, mm -hmm. "Well, it's kind of weird to have like only Sky her, on a hot spring." Yeah, yeah. Her own. So I was like, well, maybe I could invite like Maidson and the princess. And the princess, so, like, yeah. Really, you see how far back? But I was like, but then that's like a really unfair advantage for her time with the princess. So I was like, maybe I should just make it like a bathing suit option hot spring. How badass would it be if Sky and the princess came out and it was like dun dun dun, <laughs> <laughs> and they're both smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Sky is super hot. Like she's had interest from, I think everybody but Chris. That's right, baby. <laughs> Chris I don't doesn't give it. An unattractive person. I don't no, I, I don't either. I, I also. Yeah. Okay, but that being said, oh my God, whoever that is. Yeah, what is know. that? Who's mystery, mystery science, science theater? theater. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. I, oh, I should have muted. Sorry about Holy that. Apparently, that is Evan's was... thing, though. I was I was grinding pot. Sorry, <laughs> I'll mute myself. Definitely. <laughs> well, that's thing. So I'm gonna AFK uh, for ten, so you guys can start without me just for ten minutes. Just I want to yeah, get into the in. proper state of mind. You know. Um, were you doing the intro this week? Just so I know. No. Um, I like have an intro I want to work on, <laughs> but it's gonna take a lot of like effort, and I I did not have the time this week to do that. Also, it's a bit of a collab. So uh, I know some people are interested already, oh, but cool. yes, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah, I am. Was it Senshi? Because I feel like we were like maybe Senshi should do it. What was in his mind? <laughs> it's probably a good time for <laughs> questions. Or a question right episode. That's good. I I'll was right charging down the street of Arendelle one day when I ran into Lisa. <laughs> What a coincidence! I was about to find out that goring children in a city was not as cracked up to be. It is not as easy as you would think to put your head down and run full force for 30 feet. And that is when he knew he <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. I found a dodge from the fourth <laughs> and nope. nope, right through their middle. <laughs> We're making fun of your decision. Is it your intro this exactly. weekend? Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry? I have no idea. I don't think so. Okay, I'll do questions then. I can write down some questions. But first, um, I would like everybody in uh, Roll20 to change some settings for me. I am broadcasting my video so we can all have the fun event of watching me DM. So if you look in our tavern chat and Discord, Matt has posted a little where to change. And then do that. And then say okay. reconnect. And then I should appear. It might take a while on some of the slower computers. We'll see how it goes. Mm. Their video avatar. I'm chilling. I'm just gonna turn up the heat. Now, do you do you want us to put them at regular, or do you want us to? Okay. Not names only, but you can also do names only if you don't want to see Lauren. <laughs> it's totally in your power. <laughs> Lauren died. <laughs> Nikki, fuck off, dude. Pushing stuff off the table. I don't probably have to be small for me. Alright, reconnect. Hopefully. Okay. So yeah, I can see Lauren now. Ooh, hello. Just have it set to receive video just so I can only hear you th yeah, through, through Discord. Discord. It's a lot better that what way. Is this? I don't want it. Why do you have this? Oh. Yeah, we're thinking about getting me a better mic. Evan, are you watching TV? Uh. We can hear that. Sorry, I'm I'm using Discord through the actual browser, and it's actually picking up sound a lot better than when I use the app. It's weird. 
Oh, crazy. Apps are weird like Here, that. I'll change my settings. Maybe the sensitivity, uh, the the sensitivity might just be up on here. I'll just do a double check. Oh, see, yeah, my sensitivity's way up. Hope that's a little bit better. I turned my sensitivity down and my output and stuff. Couldn't hear my relaxing music. Although I feel like I should have had trauma music, but Matt and I were talking about random other <laughs> shit about wood because we cut down the cherry tree, so we I didn't set up music for the session. But yeah, what does everybody think is gonna happen? I wanna I wanna know. I wanna know what you guys have been thinking about over the last two weeks. Like how do you think it's gonna go? I, I obviously have my no. <laughs> Who thinks about it anymore? I wanna play it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. I have. That's true, eh? Like, we won't know until it actually plays out. Yeah, I got my full written down what's gonna happen. Look at my notebook. Look at all the tabs. Okay, I'm excited for all everybody I to tell say... Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to see what actually happens. For me, it's more like, I just wanna know. <laughs> I just wanna know. If I should be rolling a new character. <laughs> but, right? <laughs> like. That would have this been a really be good for you, Evan. <laughs> hey, hey, Adam. Maybe we'll get to see that crazy character I was talking about. Oh shit! Now <laughs> look. <laughs> what? It'd be it, he'd be so cute and terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna bring him into like a sweet like place like Arendelle. Murdered more hey, children. Man. I pan my panther needs to eat too. <laughs> hey, he's definitely not fucking coming anywhere near the orphan. <laughs> I feel like Sky might hey, maybe be in trouble. My I'm going to have vegan. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall around the orphanage. Keep you out. And the orphans will pay for it. <laughs> Get them all in like little helmets and stuff and guarding the ramparts. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'd be proud. They got like plunger proud. arrows and stuff. I'd just be like, you know what? They're prepared. And then you like look in and there's like a pig's head on a steak, and on the other steak is like Ma's head, and there's like evil fucking Jimmy in control. Alla, like Lord no. of the Flies. <laughs> Senshi's head would be there too. <laughs> I can hope not. So Lauren, are, Lauren, are you excited for this? That'd be the first guy they take feel? out. <laughs> oh yeah, I am. I've had two weeks to figure out what I'm gonna I do. I wouldn't even be there. <laughs> two weeks I should not have been given. Ready for some trauma. No. That's the thing. It's like there's two there's been two weeks for everyone to sit and like stew on ideas of what can and may happen. And for me, I'm just like, well, let's see all these horrible punishments. I don't have as I can say. I've written six pages in my notebook over the last two weeks. See, that's what? terrifying for me. <laughs> yeah, usually it's like two to three unless we do something. Well, I learned Cockney one time, so that took a couple pages. What you gotta do is you gotta fill her with good ideas. Yeah. That option was there. We could have you could have been throwing out good options for that roll chart, buddy. Could have been like, yeah, Sench, how about everyone let's send you go? Accidents <laughs> or accidents. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure no one threw that idea out. <laughs> I mean, my my uh, my original suggestion to Lauren was like, even Testing. if people were to let me go, like I'd want to do something. There there has to be some sort of consequence. They can't just let him go. Like even I think that's too much. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. We can hear you. Heck yeah! First try for once. I'm gonna throw you for a loop, and I'd like you to change some settings in World Twenty when you get in there. Okay, just give me a moment for my computer to get off 
to wake the heck up. <laughs> fair, fair. You're going to be able to see me now on your computer. I had to look myself with all of your avatars, though, so I don't just stare at me. What is everybody else going to do? Like, I want to. Ah, fuck! I want to know what you guys are going to do. Well, we just got together at the orphanage. No. Yeah. We're still we'll buying snacks. <laughs> I can only imagine that we're <laughs> yeah, going to talk about this. <laughs> Um, I know what I'm going to do, and I know what my character's going to do. My character is going to crash course in the legal system. Myself, <laughs> Ace Attorney jokes everywhere. Did uh, did you watch the other episode? On YouTube? Didn't get to that yet, shit. No, that's fair. I was just going to tell you what Tammy essentially did. It was pretty short. I think we already gave you a recap. But Tammy saved the day. The, Teresa's not dead because of you. Yay! Yay. Power from the god. Druids OP! Ancient magics run through Arendelle. Tapped with earth. This works well, because you know what? Fuck it, that's the, that's the reason. <laughs> the king is a druid. Hmm. We know there's a god around. Wow. Nature itself is just magic everywhere. Like just all the magical creatures out there. Like there's, there's got to be something going on, right? Aren't you excited to look at or go to all the different towns and cities of Arendelle Isle? I've been building uh, Timber Grove a bunch, and I'm really excited for you guys to go there. It's going to be so long, Ooh. though. You guys have had so many five Ooh. footers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's going to be one of those. We always have fun on those, though. We always, each episode is different. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> you do some, we were just having a really great time at the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't. So does this mean that said she is also like racist yeah, yeah. because of <laughs> No. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Teresa's <laughs> black. <laughs> <laughs> no. How? That is actually a good tone Teresa's for her. I, I like her that one like better than the uh the other the, one, the gave, one gave a better show of Oh oh that. god. <laughs> She's just uh, a red guard. Red God. Red God. Yeah, you had to explain it to me. Um, <laughs> Tammy, are you on roll 20 now? I'm oh, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> yep, just getting on there now. Woo. So whenever it's I'm loaded... i trying to do the settings here. Sweet. Yeah, you saw the post in Discord? Yeah. Uh... Objection. So... I like a boot to yeah. the head. A boot to the head could have been a capital punishment type thing. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be like Simpsons where you have to get to the behind. <laughs> yeah. Big yeah. boot comes in. <laughs> boom. <laughs> okay, so we can't like but... criminally sort go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, a big old boot comes in doing like 10 D10 blushing damage. <laughs> Your ass is mine. <laughs> For justice. It's like, okay, this is illegal enough that we're going to punish you, but not horrible enough to do anything severe, so... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Big boot. Could have been an option on the roll sheet. Could have been. That would have been so funny. <laughs> that would probably be the most favorable and hilarious of all the options because i would imagine they'd get teresa to kick me too so just this little girl trying to lift the giant boot on her leg oh they'd give her like a belt of dwarven kind or giant kind and her strength <laughs> giant funny. strength the oh, yeah. here here's a belt of cloud giant strength plus like 29 strength yeah oh, she just fucking no, walks in <laughs> 
Oh, oh no, here's a couple ideas. One, oh, no. wild magic in the courtroom. People throw boots at you. Two, wild Ooh. magic in just anywhere else. Randomly, pine codes, just all the time. 1d1 damage. This girl will hit you all of a sudden and just aim at you. Depending on how many pine cones, that could be lethal. Could be. How many people did you piss off? Cones. You're put in the stockades, four buckets of pine cones laid out in front of you. The city gathers. <laughs> what did I walk into? Pine cones do 1d1 damage. <laughs> You're walked into fantasy. <laughs> Accidental bludgeoning by a fucking pine I'm, cones? I'm pretty sure if I'm locked in the stockade, they'd have advantage on that roll. Yeah, but some oh of them are bad. God. I'm also technically restrained. Yeah. <laughs> but those are some advantage. Yeah. Yeah. My god. They can still miss, but I doubt most of them will. It just depends on how many people are really upset that you um, gored a little girl in the streets. <laughs> how bad could they be? I mean... I would assume a good 99.9% .9 of the city. <laughs> and then, like, the adventurers are coming in, too, and they're like, ah, no, fuck you, man, and they're not missing. <laughs> okay, so, here's oh, the question, though. Getting their own orphans to, like, fuck them, An adventurer Ventures. city. Is that, like, oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Or, oh, shit, it's Tuesday again. I feel like and if it was like a brawl or something, because there's been a lot of guards wandering around, like, he went on a tour with guards and was specifically told that they're there to protect everyone. Uh, <laughs> and, That's you know... That's what I thought I was doing. Yeah, but, I like, you, you asked him, you know, you know, you asked him, what's the biggest things? And he's like, oh, you know, nothing much. Like, the adventures kind of get rowdy every once in a while, but, like, usually it's pretty calm. We walk around, patrol, make sure it doesn't oh, happen. Oh, shit. Is Rowdy not for code all I for know, child murder? Yeah. Gary Necromancer was around the corner. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, but he was probably one of the and adventurers. Then Necromancer was a little girl. Unjustified. Yeah. How many times in real life do cops point guns at children? <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Well, Are you in America or no? <laughs> I was about to say in the state, like yeah no like every other side. day. <laughs> That's and, not. And how do we feel about common. those people? It wasn't some kid. Like some thirteen-year-old just shot dead by police, not lot like last week. I'm pretty sure. And how do we feel about those people? Trick question. Pretty badly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a fun session. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm enjoy like. I get any RP in the cell because I've been kind of looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, you're on a timeout. <laughs> That's why we should have everybody's video up so that we can watch you guys on timeout. <laughs> Sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> You have to stare into a in the corner, corner wall. With a dunce hat on. Yeah, you can have your audio <laughs> on, but that's it. I've really got to watch that episode, though. <laughs> <laughs> it took I a draft. That's been one of the the most dramatic moments in D and D. Like I, I don't like I. Hey, hey, you're welcome. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the, literally the... <laughs> <laughs> I had to literally ask a forum online. A <laughs> I had to ask other DMs how to deal with this situation. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't oh, come God. up. I was stumped. I was like, like, I have ideas. Like... <laughs> and this is like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? The one time I had to miss out in a session or something? Yeah, you don't miss it on a lot of them. <laughs> you missed a big one. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> 
That's why we're back to bi-weekly, so we guys don't miss as much, even though it's less time. It's yeah. Fun. Sad face. Sad you face. could probably start earlier on Sundays for me. Well, keep in mind also just saying lauren and matt are a few are a few hours behind yeah so, so it would be three o'clock for us what about you sarah i'm pretty sure i'm in the same time zone as you i don't know but how busy are you usually <laughs> isn't he a sassy magoo well, does that uh, mean it's just are adam and i the only ones on the east coast then or Matt and, and Coast, but and also East, yeah. East Oh, okay. Sassy Magoo, Lauren, when am I not sassy? This is true. I know you. I know why you took Tabaxi. <laughs> sassy. Yeah, I'm excited for today. It can go so many ways. I like you guys do what you want. <laughs> hey, well, that's the thing. We do fantasy role play, but so long as we realize there are real consequences for actions, it's all good. Yeah, definitely. It'll be fun to see what happens. Uh, after Bree, when it was kind of close to you guys going to prison, that's when this this jail that you're in now is like the Bree prison that I had built because I was kind of like, this might yeah, happen. Yeah, you had told us that last session. Yeah, it was built for Chris's shenanigans with the with the prince. I was expecting them to go a lot worse and end up in jail because they were rowdy, but they weren't too bad. <laughs> and now you're using it so many sessions later. Sitting there like, I'm surprised Chris is, isn't here. <laughs> like... You just walked out of Dolores as happy as a clam. Hey Such there, Dolores. <laughs> when you want to tap. I love that. I want that as my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Q-Tip? I bet he wants that too. Oh, that's right. That <laughs> your your fan. He's your fanboy. Want that shit. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good set segue to go go back to. Oh fuck. Oh, I only see the goose now. Yeah, I uh my button is uh control button, I don't know, for something else to like back out of whatever I'm in. And if I accidentally click that and my clicker, it backs me out. So I do this several times during a session. So if you see me disappear, I've done it accidentally. Luckily Discord still works, so I continue talking like nothing happened. Oh, this Jesus. is embarrassing. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I don't know how to change my button. Are we getting into the game? Could soon. We were still just five minutes. Okay. Ooh, we could do that for five minutes, yeah. Y'all can talk. Yeah, I'm too busy just fucking plowing through some M&M peanuts. 
or peanut M&M. I'm going to the village to figure I'd turn my mic off. I'm kind of going through some snacks myself here. Teddy, it's time. It's time. All right. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Hey, mom. <laughs> Everybody, wake up. No. <laughs> you can still hear. I'm just going to do the intro. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 30 of The Hand of the Princess. This episode is self-titled Consequences. Oh, no. <laughs> for our intro we're gonna do the same thing we did a couple sessions ago um it's just going to be a little like interview questionnaire kind of thing random guy on the street um you guys will be in character for this so answer as your character would uh we were going to start clockwise as i see you so sky uh wh who do you love most in the world oh well I love, uh, that's a very complicated question. Uh, there's more than one. Well, I guess you can have multiple. The readers just want to know. Is there anyone special for you? Well, well my, current com my current party is pretty, pretty awesome for the most part. Hi, excellent, excellent. Uh, we'll move in right around the circle hill. Sylphie, my dear, who do you love the most? Well, uh, many of my favorite things begin with them, actually. Money, uh, mob justice, and Malzahar. <laughs> what? Excellent, excellent. Good choices. We're moving right around. 
Mazahar Mazahar will get you. you. That was excellent. I nominate for inspiration. Yeah. I don't know how you pulled that off. Yay. <laughs> I think she still has it. She doesn't get double. I don't have it anymore. I used it. We'll see how you do oh, in the yeah, next one. We're only 30 seconds into the session. More inspiration. <laughs> uh, Chris, you seem to want to talk a lot. Same question to you. Who do you love the most? Uh, I also love Am things too. I love my mom and myself. Oh, we would have uh, expected you to say music, but that's fine. Tammy, my dear, your turn. Who do you love the most? Who do I love the most? Who do you love the most? It could be what do you love the most? We're not specific. You all hold rows and nine bi binary hoes. Um, well, my family over in Arendale, I think. And, nope. and back home. Excellent, excellent. Always a good choice. Family is indeed important. Malzahar, what about you? I'm big family around. Who do you love the most? Many women in Arendelle are dying to know. Got a sweetheart? Passes the microphone over. <laughs> I got a pen mic if nobody has noticed. Malzahar, we're waiting for an answer. You are muted. I am muted! <laughs> You are muted, sir! Okay. Well, no, unfortunately, no ladies. My love is for that of the arena and its adoring fans. Oh, um, and my teacher, of course. Oh, teacher, we haven't heard of that, but that is not the question. So good answer, good answer. We're moving right along. We have to jump a couple feet, but we're seeing Senshi here in uh, Arendelle Prison. Senshi, who do you love the most? Hey. Am I allowed to speak to you? I, I, okay. Yes, um, of course. We have gotten clearance to speak with you. I suppose my sister. Oh, excellent. Family she was is always kind to me. Oh, very good. Nice sister brother relationship. We look forward to hearing that more in the future, but not right now. Sky, new question. What's your favorite food? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm a. I'm a huge uh, uh, quinoa salad kind of gal. I, I, I usually like to uh, uh, experiment with like health foods and stuff like that. Sounds really gross. Uh, <laughs> uh. Sylphie, what about you? Favorite food? Um, anything my mother makes. Oh, we got a mama's girl over here. What about you, Chris? You mentioned you'd loved your mom. What's your favorite food? Pebble cereal. Ebel cereal. I can't say I know the brand. Sounds crunchy, though. Tammy, what about you? Druid in the wilds, mother of the tavern. What's your favorite food? She's Auntie. kind of stuffing her face with like some warm milk and honey and just points at it. <laughs> good choice, good choice. Always a favorite. Reminds me of home. Malzahar, you're from a desert land. What do you enjoy to snack on? Um, Grilled sand snake is quite tasty. Sounds gross, too. All right, going over to Senshi here in prison. What would you really like to eat for your last meal? I'm sorry, uh, what's your favorite? I... <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to say, he's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I got that next. But, up. um, three. <laughs> he would turn and be like, I would very much enjoy to see some sashimi. Preferably tuna. Interesting. Yeah, can't say I overly enjoy the fish, but you know what? I can expect him in his culture. <laughs> well, we're running back over here, and uh, Sky, how do you feel about capital punishment? How do I feel? I feel that it's definitely deserved in some cases. Excellent, excellent. Excuse Sophie. Me, I'm Sylvia, I don't feel like we need to ask, but uh, how do you feel about capital punishment? Uh, I believe it should be a volunteer-based system so that I can have a turn uh, doing the executing. <laughs> oh, I see. I was going to ask follow-up question, which I don't usually do. But uh, anyway, Chris, you're from a different land. What, uh, what do you feel about capital punishment? Yeah, I'm uh, a little confused on the question. What, um... what are you doing with his money? Well, capital punishment is more of the execution like standards often done in hangings. Whoa. Usually do for a tri uh, 
a crime befitting such a thing, but how do you feel? Well, I mean, in Nomerdub, we just repurpose people, right? They're clearly not made for what they were doing. So you, we help them find what they're supposed to do, and that makes them live happy lives. <laughs> Interesting. Hadn't thought of it that way. Tammy, my dear, how do you feel about capital punishment? Hmm. Being from the wilds, I assume you've seen a thing or two? Nature has its course. Yeah, nature has it co its course. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised how anti against death people are around there are here sometimes. But uh, in the terms of punishment, um, sometimes death is better for everyone else around them. So yeah, I, I agree with it. Well, uh, same question. A man from the arena, I assume you have a loose view on the subject. How do you feel about capital punishment? Well, I don't believe in submitting a man to death by your hand, but obviously in Valinar, we believe it be in the man's own hands, his life be held. So we submit them to the arena in those cases. <laughs> if they succeed, well, they deemed it befitting or something. Blah, blah, In random shit. Okay. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, yes. Uh, neat way to think That's it. You shit. have an arena. I mean, that would have been a really good option to put on the world chart. But uh, <laughs> moving on to Sinchi over here, I feel like you're going to feel most at home with this question. But how do you feel about capital punishment? It is completely and absolutely necessary. If someone has committed a crime worthy of such a punishment it would actually be more fitting for them to take their own lives and if that is their wish today i will gladly do so and there we have it folks answered from your heroes here in arendale uh and their views on the subjects goodbye and see you later he runs away <laughs> these must not be the guys from the same talk show i'm pretty sure they asked me the food question last time who hey, is this talk show host <laughs> what just happened <laughs> I oh, so you confused. Um, the intro a couple sessions ago, every once in a while, nobody has an intro. I'm going to do these questions to get you guys more familiar with like your character. So it's just going to be like random questions like that before we had. I was like, when did we get assaulted by a paparazzi or something? <laughs> Sorry, also... my bad. <laughs> <laughs> it also really happened with our folk heroes here in Arendelle, too. Tammy's okay. friends totally spiked. <laughs> Officially dubbed the Hand of the Prince party. Just, party. I just yeah, imagine right. Senshi sitting in a cell watching this like crew of people come in and out and in and out and in and out and just being like all the other like prisoners probably like, I don't know, throwing fucking like flaming toilet paper and stuff because I'm assuming they're not used to that. I think it was just one guy on the street with a little like camera and stuff like you see on YouTube. Oh, I'm see I'm picturing like an actual crew coming in, you know. You're not that famous yet. Like actual news. <laughs> not that famous. No, we're just on some yeah. guy's blog. Yeah. <laughs> we're like YouTube famous, <laughs> not like the local okay, famous. Okay. Yeah. It's like some twelve year old like kid with a camera. With a fedora <laughs> with a some, some guy with a fedora and a and a and a and a notepad C and, and, and I'd like to know what's going on here with all these shenanigans. <laughs> Uh, in the so, uh, as we return to Arendale, uh, we're going to start off with, as we were last time, um, Sky, you had followed Freddie and Teresa to the orphanage. Everybody else had sort of followed along behind. As you guys enter the orphanage and Freddie goes inside um, to find Mom, everybody is in the courtyard and then Chris will walk in. Hey guys, Senshi's getting dragged away. <laughs> What's going on? Good riddance. Well, uh, apparently there was an incident where Senshi gored a child. What the heck? That's what he was saying too. Well, yeah, yeah, I watched him. Uh, there was also Tandy dancing was there and Sylphie was there. Okay. Whoa. Dancing skeletons? Like, what? So, 
They danced around the corpse as it bled. Uh, <laughs> still uh, being, God damn it. Uh, why? Where did they come from? Was he in like a blood rage or something? There, it's a candy here in Arendelle. It's a candy. It okay. wasn't. There's a gelatinous cube ice cream. It gives you a little treat inside. So these were and sometimes obvious solutions. Obvious solutions. Yes. Like, could not be mistaken for anything other than an illusion. They, did, have you seen any cartoon uh, skeletons running around? Yes, yes, no, that's, I'm just driving that point home. That no one yes. in their right mind could have mistaken these for actual harmful skeletons. Well, it sounds like someone did. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I mean, should we go see what, what we do in this scenario? Because, I mean... Which child so was it? Is she okay? <laughs> Are they okay? <laughs> Tammy saved her at least. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah. Risa, no we we brought her out for ice cream to cheer her up, and and then More just... it didn't work. You think this has got something to do with Lawrence? No, no I don't think this is on. This Lawrence. is this is Senchi, guys. Well, like how, like, do we need to sugarcoat it? No, no, but I guess we do need to discuss this. Like, um, he's caused damage to property, which we had to pay for. He's apparently gored a child. I'm trying to think if there's anything he's... else in particular. He was planning he's to kill the king the one time. I watched that dude punch a dog. Remember that, Malzahar? <laughs> Wait. He punched what? a dog. Like, do I get a yeah. flashback of this, please? Because yeah. I don't remember. To my knowledge, actually, to my <laughs> knowledge, I was by myself when that happened. No one no. knows that. Uh, no, no Scott you guys, was with you guys. Yeah, you were all we following split the back up. streets. No, not you. Split from Chris, but it was you three. I'm fairly certain. Okay, I don't. I don't <laughs> remember them being there, but. I think what happened is he went down a hallway with a dog and they went, let's not go that way. Um, and then the next morning when we were meeting with the king, someone was complaining that someone hit their dog. <laughs> so it's possible. Yeah, there was, That's, yeah that Matt, sounds that, about right to me, but exactly. that still doesn't mean that anyone saw me hit a dog is what I'm not, saying. I'm not here, but that's what Sky said. <laughs> So this guy said he apparently hit a dog. Okay, I say allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alan, Alan Michael Jackson. <laughs> allegedly. But we've allegedly. also seen him like beat somebody when they were on the ground. We've also seen him like you know beat somebody when they were unconscious. He does also have uh, penises on his face. They're drawn there. Is nobody else noticed that? I thought it was, like, cultural or something. Yeah, I thought his hair had grown in weird. How <laughs> did someone draw penises on my face? Someone did at some point. I can't remember. It's so long ago. Yes, it so must long have ago. been a session. I wasn't there. Yeah, that's what I did. Nice yeah. yeah. Oh, they sort of did. They would, everybody I would did. Like, no, I, I did. I think I trusted the computation them off his face. I think I did. It should be faded by now, at least. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm assuming people bathe, so... <laughs> yeah. Don't assume. No. You They're don't bathe. Long long. I don't think Senshi has ever taken a bath. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the circle. Back on track. But... Um, as you guys are discussing yeah. what's been happening, um, out in but... from, into the courtyard, sorry, starts scurrying a form you guys are familiar with and as you look over uh, Miss Choi sort of runs past you guys into the orphanage oh she's in a hurry whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm following her what is she That's doing here uh, so if you guys follow her through the orphanage she moves very quickly but she moves towards the back um, Sky you are familiar with the direction she's going and she does make her way to Teresa's room Oh my Sophie's God. following. Um, can I can I help you, Miss Choi? She's like, not unless you can do magic. Get out of the way. She's so fast. 
What? Sorry, I have to uh, get Miss Choi's voice in a very peculiar way. Oh, Mazaha! <laughs> she flies past. <laughs> I'll see you later, Mazaha. Business I love, first. I love how that's a good. I love how that's the go to phrase. The fucking it's the trigger. Movies. I don't know why, but it's the trigger. Anyway, so she rushes past and goes into Teresa's room. Uh, she, like, opens the door and, and moves in. She's like, pretty fast past you guys um you can see that mom is in the room freddie's in the room and Teresa is laid out on the bed uh, miss troy is going to you know make her way everybody's gonna move actually back from her and she's going to go to Teresa on the bed and just start sort of touching her she reaches into a little bag you now notice and she sorts sort of touching the girl around like blue magic shines up you guys just watch What's going on? Toby's taking notes. Oh my gosh, she's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, she's looking over Teresa. Let her work. Uh, and as she continues, so she, she takes a time doing this. She's going over where the injuries were. Um, and as she like moves clothing, you can actually sort of see she's still in the same clothing. So they are have a, a large hole in it where the two horns have gone through um, and the skin beneath it is is healed but the injury was definitely of a stronger nature than Tammy's magic could initially heal and so there's some blood seeping around the edges and it doesn't look quite right mm -hmm. and she's so Miss Choi is going to go everybody out we don't need a fucking I don't even know crowd Boy, those don't look too good I'll Miss, no additional yeah. healers needed. Yeah, everyone out. I start like ushering people out the door. You are the one who did the magic. Come, Tammy. Uh, all right, all right. And she kind of, she goes in. She's a little nervous, but yeah, yeah, she does it. Okay, so in the room is just going to be Tammy, Mum, and uh, Miss Troy. And she's going to ask you to cast your highest healing magic on the wounds again. More right, magic was bring, needed. Let me just bring up my freaking uh, sheet here and see what I got. Sylvia, how old is your mob? Uh, 29 for the past 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like my age. Uh, yeah, but I don't have a lot. Sorry, I don't have a very good stuff uh, set for today. My for today, the only things I have set are like cure wounds, which I can do as a third level spell. But anything you can do, darling, it goes better with the original healer here. Put your hands on the wounds. What does it look like when you cast magic? Like, what do you do to cure wounds? Tammy! Are you muted? So I think real, oh, okay, really, yeah. really hard. Uh, so like some, some gentle light, probably maybe the smell of some sort of healing flower. Like it smells nice, but also medical. But that's <laughs> druid magic, I guess. What color is your magic? Does it have a color? I picture a shine whenever I picture magic. Well, circle of the grassland, I'm going to probably say yellowish. Cool. Um, so you start healing over the wounds and, you know, a yellowish glow kind of happens. You mutter a few words. And as you're doing this, uh, Miss Choi's hands are also going to go over top of yours where the uh, wounds are. And you're going to feel like an energy kind of like pass through your hands. And you'll see more of a dark purple light start to glow over the wounds as well. When you're done casting the spell and she lifts her hands and you can lift yours, the wounds are a lot better healed now. It, it sort of looks more like a scar tissue. Like, Perfect, darling. That should help us stave off death for a while. You can go. Mom and I need to talk. Uh, yes. Uh, thanks. And uh, as she leaves, she's like, uh, sorry if I got upset at you the other day. And she, she kind of starts going out. Thank you for the apology, darling. Tammy, don't leave that room. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> She's 
The door probably closes behind yeah. her when she realizes that. Mom. Click. I'm like, she's like, I gotta talk to mom, aka sign a soul contract, aka yeah. Tammy hates that she does that shit and doesn't just heal people for free, aka why is Tammy not like, fuck? <laughs> Because everybody is yeah, numb emotion. As soon as she's out of the room. She did a good thing. Yeah. They healed. She saw her heal. Yeah, but now she gotta pay for it. I think I own the orphanage now. Or at least I get to inherit it. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all shaping into a rat and getting back in that fucking room. Holy shit. Uh, as you guys are, are bickering back and forth, Freddy is going to stumble down the hallway towards the exit. What do you mean stumble? Like he's wounded? Sad, In an emotional drunk. sense, yeah. Like he he's definitely Ready? he sort of just he just keeps heading it. So is that guy drunk? I'm gonna walk after him. Uh you can he's catch up ready? to him relatively quickly. He's not moving that fast. Um, but as you approach him, you know, his face is, is really white. Even though he's a ginger, it's more white than normal. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't. Hey, 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 hey. And he'll turn to you in the courtyard and he'll be like, I I don't understand what happened. I don't either. She just. Get it. Teresa was fine. She was okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and since she, he was, he was on guard duty with me today. We were going for ice cream. I was. Yeah. We're gonna have ice cream together like we used to, Sky. I just I Yeah, I said she's a problem. He's been a problem for our party quite a bit. I He seemed like such a nice guy. I He is, but I yeah. We've had to give him quite a few chances, but this is too far. I don't know if I can forgive him. I don't know if I want to forgive him. I don't I, either. I, but I, that's I, not for us to decide. The court will decide what's best for Senchi. He's gonna like... Which? Just have to have faith that it's good for Teresa. Yeah, that's a good time to switch over to Senchi. Senshi. All right, cool. So, so I'm just sitting in the cell right now. There's, there's like no one, no wait, one wait, there me, at the moment. I, calm down. <laughs> we just got over. I'll describe it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Patience, young Padawan. Gotta switch the music. So, it is something Senshi needs to learn. Senji is in the same jail, jail cell they led him to the other night. The walls are a thick stone working. You have a bed, uh, a little wash bucket, and then a bucket beside the wash bucket, which you can only assume is for your excrement. There are two very large dogs not that far from your cage. They seem, they're seem they not barking or aggressive or anything. They're just kind of laying down. Um, and behind them at the table that you can also see is two guards just sort of sitting there waiting talking amongst themselves. All That's right. Well, I'm just kind of... All right, well, I am just sitting there, and I'm kind of, like, just looking down, sitting there, and I'm like... <sighs> oh, yes, and everything has been taken say? from you. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm well aware of that. You told me last <laughs> session. Right. Um, so he's just kind of sitting there, and he's like... I'm assuming I'm allowed to wear my clothes, though, like the common clothes underneath my armor. Yeah, Am I stripped loose. naked? <laughs> no, you have your loose-fitting, um, I assume, Japanese-style okay. yukata. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Um, so he's just kind of sitting there, and he's kind of, like, mumbling to himself, like, obviously distressed with the situation. He's just like, Duh. What would sister say? Senshi. You must look within yourself to save yourself from your other self. Only then will you find your true self reveal itself. Ugh. Am I so bad at being good? 
and and he just kind of like sits there and it's like half meditation but also just half like lamenting at the actual situation like half thinking about like what the fuck actually just happened like how could i have done that like why am i like this and the other half being just you know concerned about the well-being of teresa and upset over the fact that you know someone i thought i was trying to protect i actually hurt and it's it's, it's something that sense she's very not okay with he he feels like not only has he let himself down but he's let her down he let his group down and most importantly of all he let Aaron Dell down so uh yeah he's just sitting there dwelling with that fact um as time goes on you are in here for a number of hours which i feel like i should maybe go back to everybody else for Yeah, we're going to go back, but you can, yeah, you're going to be here for a few hours. Um, They're going to leave you oh, as is, yeah. reminisce about your bad doings. <laughs> Tammy's trying to get right back the fuck into that room. <laughs> the door is locked. I will get in there. I am a rat. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. They can squeeze, if the skulls can get through it, they can squeeze the rest of them, th them through it. Uh, now. <laughs> an inch under that door. I am freaking in there. All right. Well, does anybody else want to do anything while Tammy is turning into a rat? Sophie, what happened? No one seems to be saying things straight. So there there was some ice cream and it summoned uh, dead children that danced around a living child. So Senshi charged the dead children, but missed the dead children and then added a third dead child, but the dead, already dead ones kept dancing. And that's and the ice it. cream was very good. <laughs> oh, and I also got an ice cream and it gave me a power boost. Well, none of this makes sense now. <laughs> I pat Sylphie on the head, but, like, distanced, like, really far away. Like, just don't get closer, but nice job. <laughs> I definitely cast Pass Without a Trace before I turn into a rat, though. Cool. Uh, can I go back to the group, maybe? Yeah, um, Freddy is going to be like, I, I need to just be alone and process this. And he's gonna go off to his, his room somewhere okay. so you can return to the group. All right. I let him go and then I come back to the group. I'm like, Malzahar, do you have, do you still have that eye? Uh, I have many things in this bag that I would rather not touch. But yes, probably. Can you can you dump it out onto the ground, do you think? Uh, well, I don't know how cosmic magic of this nature works, but let's try it. Okay. Uh, Here, and, and I, I just walk right up to him, and then I, just, I like, tilt, open I tilt the... Yeah, I was tilting... I already had the bag open, I was tilting it to see if anything rolls out of it. Like, because I want to see, like, do, do I have to think about what, what I want to roll out? I'm basically theory-crafting in the moment with the bag. Okay, how I picture a bag of holding working is, like, usually you reach your hand in whatever object you're thinking of, sort of, that's what your hand touches first sort of thing like when you reach into a bag this is what you grab. Um, but because you're just pouring it out onto the ground I just picture things falling out okay well I would like keep it like I would do it slowly so it's like oh no no that goes back in the bag okay so yeah you know I'm like stone next falls to out of the bag. rations fall out of the bag nope, uh, need those uh, mm -hmm. yep. some of the bird meat falls out of the bag ah and, no and, no and then the eyeball falls can I uh, hold an action? <laughs> the eyeball oh. rolls on the floor. Uh, no did you, Wait. Did you hear me about wanting to hold an action, Lauren? You want to what? Hold the uh, action? Could I, uh, could I uh, stomp on the eye? So the eyeball rolls out of the bag, Malzahar screams, and you're going to try to stomp on the eye. You can do that, but... Oh shit! <laughs> what is that thing? It's an Rinks. eyeball. No, it doesn't. Ah! Uh, what it's do like... you want me to roll, Lord? 
Yeah, I have to remember how to kill it. How does an eyeball blink or wink? <laughs> it's half frozen, so it's just kind of like. <laughs> also, but it doesn't. It wouldn't have eyelids. It it would just be the eye. Did the yeah. pupil fucking change shape? Al, do you often keep eyeballs in your bag? Uh, no. This was a, a favor for Sky. He he likes animals. Parts in his bag. Um, so just make an unarmed strike for me. All right. You could get him like chicken wings or something. Fuck. You missed the eye. Oh. It seems to roll really weirdly. <laughs> now I you tried to stop on it again. Sorry. <laughs> it rolls again. Motherfucker! A little farther down the hallway this time. Oh my god, it's gonna find a child. What, uh. Can I uh, try and grab it? Sure. It's gonna be the All same right, attack, then... though, because it has an AC. Okay. Or a, a dex check, I guess. No, I, it's not going to roll a dex. Same thing. You can try to grab it. Acrobatics? Like, Do just, not roll that one. Blame a rat. Okay. Roll uh, acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes to the defendant. The eyeball just touches your finger, but then it sh and sticks away and rolls away. And as it rolls oh, away, it's time. No! <laughs> uh, from being touched... You're going to see the legs sort of pop out and the tenderly bloody things. And it as it rolls, it's going to no, no, no. itself up onto its legs and start skittering down the hallway. Runs about I'm going to chase after it. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Going as, on. as this is happening, we're going to go over to Tammy. Um, she's been waiting patiently in her rat form outside the door. Clawing her way through it. Yeah, yeah I, I Tammy, just just look at the roll, please. One v one. Oh god. <laughs> oh, god. Um, I, feel, I feel like the doors in an orphanage would have uh, cracks and a gap at the bottom just due to the age and severity of the punishment they've gone through. So you would, in a rat form, be able to crawl your way under the door. All right, guess I'm doing a stealth check. Just make sure I didn't get caught. Yes. I do have Pass Without a Trace on, so I think that's a plus 10. So just normal roll, or are they distracted? Uh, a normal roll, they do. They're two women, let's say that. So that's 12 plus 10. It's <laughs> 22. Yeah, 15. Oh, wait, there's two of them. Ah. Yay! All right, 11. So you successfully seem to crawl your way into this room. Uh, pretty much the exact same scenario that you were in before, except it's now um, Teresa is still laying on the bed. Her breathing is even, and Mum and Miss Choi are talking, standing up in the middle of the room. I am hiding under a dresser, and I am listening to that conversation. <laughs> Okay, just so that I don't have to go back and forth between the voices to myself, uh, I'll just sort of explain what they're saying. Um, Sounds good. <laughs> so Miss Choi is going to say that Teresa is most likely going to have a large amount of trauma uh, due to the scenario, and Mom, Mom understands this, and she thinks that it's probably best to get her out of Arendelle for the time being so that she can heal in a more suitable environment. Uh, and Miss Choi is going to offer her services in this. Um, of course, Teresa needs to heal here for a couple of days before they can leave, but she would like to adopt Teresa. I will take the child. <laughs> that is what she says, Miss Choi. <laughs> I will take the child so she can heal somewhere safe. I've always been looking for more girls to adopt. You know this. <laughs> uh, and mom is going to think about it for a little bit. And then she says, if you can guarantee her safety and take care of her as a child, I'll allow you to adopt her. 
course, with the, the feet. And Miss Troy will nod. That's pretty much the end of the conversation. She'll say um, she needs to stay probably at least a week before, you know, moving her. At that time, she'll hopefully regain consciousness from her wounds and we'll be able to analyze how, what her state is. And then she will sort of shake mom's hand and leave the room. And then we'll jump back because Sky is chasing an eyeball down the hallway. I want to fucking try and get it. <laughs> so the eyeball's uh, movement is 20 feet. However, it can go on ceilings and it will oh, use shit. this fact. <laughs> But it ran 20 feet, still on the ground, so you'll have your 30 feet, so you'll probably get another attack. Okay. Alright. Can I, like... Alright, I'll, uh... You can magic, you can throw, I don't care. <laughs> I got McStabby. You can try to grab it, like, throw your body onto it. Oh, shit! Oh my fucking god! A little child opens the door. <laughs> oh, you stab him in the eye! <laughs> I'm next. I'm next. Uh. We need to get out of the orphanage right now. <laughs> we need to get out of town. No, that it's okay. There was no, there was no doors on this little hallway. Sorry, Hi, I tried to. You? you do uh, and, oh, slash wait, it, and, and like your attack hits the wall instead, and so there is a gigantic slash through the nice wallpaper and wood. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to get that later. Uh, and then I'm going to try and stomp on the eye. I do have something for it. Sweet. I'm going to try and stomp on it. Stompy, stompy. Unarmed strike. 11 misses. So again, this just out from under your feet, it kind of skip and like right beside your foot instead. And then it's going to touch your foot. <laughs> now. Oh, <laughs> not, why did I do save? God damn it. Oh, be roll. Fuck. All right. Ooh, That's a 15 terrible. hits. Finally. What's the damage you do with that? 1d4. A punch is just plus one plus strength, strength modifier. So one damage, it's sort of a little bit, why but as soon as you uh, lift your foot, it forms into an eyeball again and starts moving. No, no, it's going I want to grab it. <laughs> You've used two attacks. I don't think you can get an attack or right. grab it as well. So it's going to scurry. Uh, up. I can wait till I try and grab it on my next turn if that helps. Yeah, you can actually, as it scurries away, you can technically get a react. Ah, it's tiny. No, no, you don't get a reaction. Uh, it's going to scurry up okay. the wall and get onto the ceiling, but it's not going to get that far away. Probably about five feet because it had to travel that distance. What is everybody else doing as Sky is stomping and slashing down the hallway? And Tammy's in the room still. I just light up a joint. Like, this, <laughs> oh, whoa, this is heavy stuff. <laughs> Chris, should we go do some more, like, go check on Senshi or shop? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we should talk to Senshi, but he was pretty open with what happened. I just didn't believe him. Well, we should, I don't know, make sure he has all of his affairs in order, maybe. You we think he's had an thing. affair? <laughs> no, Chris, it's, you know, when you go into battle, you make sure you, maybe he has a letter to someone he would like delivered. Oh, okay, yes. No? We could, we could get ice cream. You guys missed out on that. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of, let's get ice cream, then go. Wait, what? No, oh, yeah, that's that was a good not idea. the time for ice cream. It was actually pretty good. What flavors do they have? Uh, Dead Child Dancing is one of them. Whoa. <laughs> I might not want ice cream. <laughs> That's a little mutt. What flavor was your ice cream? Uh, power increasing. <laughs> I don't Sounds know these yellow. flavors. Sounds <laughs> yellow. <laughs> I heard it grows on a different island. Ice cream grows? Well, no, the flavor comes from like a different island, like a fruit on a different island. I've never heard of a power fruit. I'm kind of curious though. Was it like zesty? 
Um, to be honest, I wasn't really focusing on the flavor. <laughs> That's probably why you want more ice cream, right? <laughs> How can you not focus on the flavor? It's ice cream. You have to enjoy the ice cream. So. There was a murder. <laughs> I was watching. Yeah, I was watching a murder while it ha while I was eating it. <laughs> well, you would think you would remember more to the traumatic moment, the taste. The smell, it wasn't very the sound. traumatic, though. I, I was just eating ice oh. cream and like okay, watching. Okay, so you yourself say it wasn't very traumatic. <laughs> so it was like a like it was like oh, a child has been. It was like watching a play. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> And it brought no emotion. Like, you don't think about popcorn when you're watching a play. But you mm -hmm. remember the taste. I think about I popcorn. Don't. Let's get so ice cream. That no? Yeah, get ice cream. Let's get ice cream. Yeah, I kind of want to experience this. Oh my god. The drawing, like... He's still there, whatever his name is. Like, or Jeffrey. What was the night guy? I don't see him. Wait, I might be. No, no, there he is. Has he left yet? Freddy? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to say, hey, you missed out on ice cream earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he should come back Too just to smack you. Me, dude. <laughs> With his gauntlet hand. <laughs> He oh, challenges geez. you to a duel. Oh, oh, easy peasy. <laughs> oh, no, he's oh, gone. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yes. Freddy. I feel bad for Freddy. I liked him. Shit. He didn't get ice cream. I had a friend art kid. for you. Some people would say it's to die for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to go to the Dolores's, but we'll skip to Sky, who is chasing the eyeball, so you can. It's on the roof. And we're going to Scrum All right. Yeah. I want to try and... Oh, oh, how high is the roof? Or the ceiling? It's 10 feet. A little high ceiling. 10 feet, damn it. So the light... Can I, like, do a running... Ooh, can I try and do, like, a running kind of... Uh, like, if I run back or do like a oh, fuck what am I trying to say can I like run 20 feet and then try and jump and try and grab it or knock it down from uh, or like smack it down from the ceiling okay and sky is around what 5 10 yeah I'd say you'd be able to jump decently if you got to get an athletics roll alright yeah it'd be pretty easy yeah. to uh, jump and touch a roof athletics or could I try acrobatics no, you're just straight jumping, so I feel like this is going to be strength. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I just started. Yeah. All right. Okay. Dude, come Maybe on. if you're using the wall to like... Four. Fuck. <laughs> Can I... Oh, inspiration point. Oh, uh, use your inspiration if you'd like. <laughs> that is a shit roll. You jump my jump. You jump like three inches off the ground. <laughs> can levitate, but can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to get those legs on this. <laughs> There we go. Much better. Yeah. So you take a little like hop jump before you really jump. Um, and now make a sleight of hand to see if you can actually grab this. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm looking for it still. That's okay. His eyeball is kind of on the ceiling, swiveling around, and then as it like swivels, and you see it do that weird jump thing as a hand comes out and you snatch it off the roof. And it's wriggling in your hand, its tentacles sort of spazzing around. What do you do as you land? Uh, I'm gonna, I like want to have like a tight grip on it, okay. and I try and make it for the fucking docks. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna run through Arendale with this thing? Yep. Cool. Um, so everybody can then decide to, you know, go to Scrum to Liamptious, and Sky is going to book it to the docks. <laughs> Tammy, what are you doing? Are you going to leave? Uh, Mom has sort of sat down beside Teresa's bed and is just sort of gazing at her. Is Miss Choi gone? Yes, Miss Choi opened and left. Around the time okay. Sky caught the eyeball. 
If it looks like it's safe to go out, I'm gonna slowly kind of make my way out because mom's distracted, kids asleep, Choi's gone, and I'm hoping to get out without anyone noticing me. Go. Yeah, uh, you can do that. Mom is fairly focused. All right. So I'll probably, seeing that everyone else is promptly fucked off, uh, <laughs> probably hang around, turn, stop the rat thing, and go hang out with Scott. Uh, uh, no. Hang out with Sky. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go follow Sky, but she's taking off. So I'm like, oh shit, and I run off after. You like come out while I'm like making a fucking like booking it out the. Out yeah, the door you you window. see her form fleeing the hallway, so you could realistically run after her. I'll run after her, but just just for comedic effect, she. she Sky probably started running the moment I started transforming back, so I'm like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Your Animorph style <laughs> running and movement. You like changing. Ah. Yeah. So you'll be a bit of behind. Um, we'll say you guys catch up just as Sky is like reaching the dock. Uh, but we will go to everybody getting ice cream by Scrum Diddlyumptious. Now you can move your team character. Hey, uh, Sophie, if you keep Big M back, uh, I'll buy us ice cream for. Just give me a minute here. Oh, Wait, thank what? you. And I go in the store. Wait, what do you mean keep Big M back? What What does he mean, Sylphie? Oh, it's for us to hang out. <laughs> but but I want. She'll uh, she's gonna she's gonna try and take Malzahar's hands. Like, look, we can look at the crime scene together. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I I will oh, definitely please. dodge the hand grabs if it's a roll. <laughs> uh, well, oh, yeah, unless geez. like if Sylvie wants to roll, it can be a roll. Like, I want to roll. Okay, as you guys are. Anime. Uh, what would this be? Let's say um, either act. <laughs> no, I want to do sleight of hand contesting to each other. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Because nobody has anything in that stat. <laughs> Noise. It's not terrible. No! <laughs> she wants it. it. She notices you try to get away and like locks your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> so she firmly grabs your hand, links fingers. Um, you definitely feel them lock into place around I'm your like, larger hand. Click. With how fast she must be to just catch my hand. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, you, you an instant too late felt the chill of her, her wish to grab your hand and she got you and pulls you towards the crime scene on the ground, which has definitely been marked off. There are some guards around what appears to be a blood spill on the ground. This, Do they have the outline of the body? No, like, just you know, the, the blood. Baby. Oh, so yeah. look at you can see the blood. Is she? Are you like dragging me towards it? Yeah, it's yeah, like a romantic. Me, and I am resisting. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Strength be strength. Oh god. <laughs> Mouse, those butterflies in your stomach just love. <laughs> no. Watch another nat twenty. Oh. No, it's okay. Sophie's well, pretty weak in strength. <laughs> I thought you were five, and I was like, but Mal's is worse. <laughs> Apparently, I am a. I'd be like, um, like, it's. Uh, she can still remain grasped onto my hand, but I'm not moving. Yeah, I'm she's like, fully like a little girl, like walking, but you're not moving. Your arm is just over there. Oh, we can stay here then. Gaze at the red together as it slowly congeals and turns brown. Oh, uh, sun. <laughs> uh, so wait, how long? It's been probably like an hour since the occurrence, maybe two. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just like, how long has Chris been in the store? Mm, yeah, we'll jump to Chris now. I want Chris, in that. Uh, he's been in there for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, can I just like come out with three gelatinous cube ice creams? How much do they cost? Oh fuck! What did I say last time? Silver pieces, five silver, silver pieces. pieces, two silver. I should write that down. Uh, and roll three d sixes for me. Oh, one of us get the skeletons. 
Me roll what, sorry? Okay, just one each then. I'm also... Ooh, six. I don't know if you saw what I sent to you, Lauren, or not. You do. Um, yeah, I'm going to need you to roll something for that as well. But let's figure out what the ice creams are first. We got a six. And a five. Oh. So, can I One make the... mention of a plan I already have? But now, I, I just want to make you guys realize I had planned to do this from the get-go. Sure. Let me tell you what the ice creams are first. Okay. One has a tiny skull in it. One has a little berry in it. And now we need a third roll. Oh, can I show them to Sylphie? Yeah, I want to like display the flavors before uh, before they're handed out. Unless <laughs> Sylphie just takes whatever number five is. Number five is I the feel good like she's going to grab the skull one. Sylphie, which one do you grab? Well, we need a third roll. Either yes. Or mouse. Here, here, I'll roll it. No, it's, it's supposed to be mad. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, and a tiny sword. Oh, yeah. You want the sword one? Bells. I, I'm like, oh, thank you, Chris. And I, like, grab just the tip of the, I don't know, the popsicle stick or whatever it's on, I guess. Or is it in a cup? Like, what? what is this in? I handle it very carefully. Cool. We're just doing something. What's the other ones? A skull and a berry? A skull, skull a berry, and a sword, yeah. Which one do you want? Skull. You want the skull? I yeah, the skull. here you go. Actually, should we save the one with the skull for Senshi? I <laughs> <laughs> only got three. I mean, I only bought three. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just take the one with the skull then. Perfect, that's the one I thought you'd <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, can I... What's I do not eat this. Even though it has a little sword in it? No, I actually... Basically, I had already re like thought, like, Chris has done something with this fucking ice cream. There's no way I'm fucking eating it. Sophie. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, wait until I, he's not looking and throw it over my shoulder. <laughs> I also just eat my ice cream like, oh, this is pretty good. So as Sylphie finishes her ice cream and gets to the skull inside, which is like a little candy skull, you can eat it, um, two magical skeletons appear at your side and begin dancing around you. Whoa. <laughs> little cartoon skeletons, happy. <laughs> um, some of the guards outside sort of take notice of it uh, and begin like writing down information on it. Um, Matt, what one did you eat? The fairy one? Yeah. Uh, so as you finish yours, you all of a sudden feel reinvigorated a little bit. You rejuvenate and you gain 10 temporary hit points. Ooh. Is this the power one? I, f I think I feel the power. <laughs> and Mal's, you don't eat it, so uh, do a stealth for me to see if you can throw it away without Chris noticing. It's like when you have like terrible food and you're like, oh god, and then like you wait for everyone to stop paying attention, you quickly like fucking throw it in a bush or some shit. Yeah. Okay, uh... Bucks no way. Oh, no! <laughs> We're getting them out. We're yeah. getting them out. That's the armor, man. <laughs> Get him in the, the face. <laughs> I catch it and go, don't waste it. Like, you haven't even tried it. <laughs> and I put it towards his I, face. <laughs> I, no, I want him to roll to catch it. If he catches it, I'll fucking eat it. <laughs> roll to catch. <laughs> I don't even fucking know what that would be. Either, Either a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Yeah. Yeah. Or an acrobatics, like. <laughs> you know when you like meant to throw something back and it slips out forward? Sixteen uh, is, is a good enough roll. To... Uh, uh, like no man. I begrudgingly like it. look at it and then look at him and I'm like, God damn you, Chris. It has a little tiny I, fucking, I eat it. We're gonna I, go like, on this experience know. together. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wink and shoot guns at him. <laughs> Oh my god. Why? This is a delectable strawberry flavor. Ooh, yummy. That's actually my favorite. Did Sophie grab one of the dancing skeletons? Okay, strawberry's not like my favorite, but I like it a lot. It's tied with a bunch of others. 
like vanilla. I don't, I don't, I like vanilla more than I like chocolate. Who's, who's vanilla with me? Race. Sweet. Um, so you guys happily get ice cream. Um, the guards sort of start cleaning up, the, or new people arrive, start cleaning up the blood mess that's outside. Um, a crowd had definitely formed and been shooed away as you guys eat your ice cream at a nearby table, I assume. I think we're standing in the middle of the road. Okay, that's fine. There's like tables around, but that's fine too. You're just standing there watching them clean up the blood spills. Yeah, we should go talk to Senshi and see if something happened to cause this. Okay, we're going to go back to Sky and Tammy real quick, and then we'll go to Senshi. Ah, no, it hasn't been that long. We'll still go to them. Okay. Uh, so Tammy, or Sky, you reach the docks. I assume you're just trying to get to the closest ones. Uh, yep. Where's the, the closest dock that I can get to? So this is the northern dock, um, relatively close to the town center. Where the airships are, are, yeah. Yeah, uh, where you guys normally pick up like the bigger ship whenever you guys are doing the larger tasks. Um, not the smaller dock that I have a map for, so it's just going to be a mental thing. So you reach the docks, big ships are coming and going, people bustling around as it's, you know, a little later in the day. It's probably around five or six now, I believe. I should really have like time written on my form so I can remember, but it's around I... five or six. All right, I make for the nearest like spot where there's like an opening with the... Uh, uh the edge of, edge of the dock where like you know it's just nothing but sky below it okay uh, and you... i'm gonna hurl <laughs> my arm back and throw the eye okay so <laughs> as you do that and you open your palm to whiff this thing uh, it's it's legs are have wrapped around your hand and it doesn't move. <laughs> Yeet! And it like sticks to your hand it's like ah, <laughs> I want to try to force it off. Okay. Are you using anything, or are you just, like, strength, like, whipping it? I'm just, like, whipping it off. Okay, let's just do, like, straight d20s to see if it falls off. Alright. One, two, three, go! Oh, fuck! Oh, nice! <laughs> I was gonna say you should levitate it and just drop it. <laughs> No, nope, that is effective. So as this thing like momentarily clings to your arm, uh, you whip it back, and just with a ferocity of hatred and a pent-up emotion, this thing goes flying off your hand, and you watch it sort of cartwheel its tentacles flinging through the air until you can't see them anymore, and it disappears into the sky. Like below the clouds. Yeah. I, you, you sort as of, like, I'm doing that, I let out this... <sighs> And I just, like, fucking let it all out. People definitely stop and, like, look at you. But they let you scream. But then Tammy uh, will show up behind you. Fall to my hands and knees, and I'm going to just start sobbing. And Tammy, that's when you find Sky. Instant hugs. Holy shit, hugs. I, like, jump for a second, but, like, I just, like, uh... I'm going to, like, lean, like, prop myself up against, like, a wall or whatever and just start sobbing. This is all my I'm fault. Gonna, I'm going to come to Sylphie's side. And, or not so Son of a bitch. Screw Sylphie. Uh, Sky's side. I'm going to go to Sky's side and just offer my shoulder and be... She's going to be... Sammy's going to be quiet and just offer her arm. Yeah, I just sob with Tammy for a bit. So we will go to the other three who have joyously eaten their ice cream. Sophie, as you walk through town, uh, the skeletons stay with you for like 15 minutes. I'm just dancing around you, playfully running around kind of thing. Can we pick one up? Sure. They're, they, have, they are corporeal, like they have a form. Um, but as you touch it, you definitely feel that this is like a magical substance. It's sort of, it's not as weighted as it should be, like what a skeleton would weigh. It's its a weird density. Like when you pick up what should be a bone and it's plastic and you're like, whoa. She tries to put them on her shoulders. <laughs> like double stacked high too. <laughs> like neat, neat shoulder pads, but they're like dancing skeletons that just fit in circles. So you guys will be able to, 
I guess Sophie might know where the prison is. <laughs> so she will lead the way to the prison. Um, you'll sort of enter. Oh, I have information. Whatever. Um, you enter and some guards will be, there's a little desk there. It's not directly into like the holding cell area. You There's a guy behind a desk and he's in the, yeah. Uh, visitation for the one and who you wanted to see uh the the uh minotaur that uh killed that kid senshi yukana he like gives you guys a look like, like a pure just to taste and he's like why you want to see him we want to ask him some questions yes that what kind of questions I don't know, like, why is the sky blue? Like, what's the matter, dude? <laughs> a little unusual. <laughs> <Chris. laughs> oh my god. We'd like to ask him why he did it, and, you know, ensure he knows he was wrong. We don't usually just let townsfolk come in and question the prisoners. It's done by the law. Well, he's part of our adventuring party. Oh, you see, there we go. We got some backstory now. He's part of your party and you want to go talk to him. Maybe you should have stopped him from killing a girl. Uh, well, I I unfortunately was not there and I cannot speak for my other compatriots. And I, like, I widely gesture, but I don't point to anybody in particular. Especially because, like, I don't know who was there. <laughs> All right. Well, lucky for you, or... Uh... You do get, as an adventuring party, you do get five minutes with them as is, you know. Is that like each? Customary? Yeah, customary. Uh, to do or to decide. No touching or no fuzzy business. He'll be behind bars the entire time. And you'll be under supervision, understood? Uh, they call it fuzzy business. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You making fun of my action? No, no. Did, All did right. you say something different? Funny business, funny business. Oh, okay, yes, no, by mistake. <laughs> anyway, go on in. He's the only prisoner we got today. Oh, God, you're giant. Fee fi for fun. Senshi, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. I'd be like the same size as you. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys enter, and he leads. Opens a back door and you guys enter a back room. You see two guards sitting at a table. They look over at you and stand up as you enter. But the guard behind the desk says, they're here to see Sentry Yukana. They got five minutes on the clock. And they nod and the dogs will also stand up and start growling a little bit. They but they won't do know. anything. Oh God. Are those oh, that I big? to the dog like, oh, puppies. They are mastiffs. Every dog's a puppy. But are Every they dog. like 12 feet long? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I yeah, like put my back up against the cell and just <laughs> 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 towards the cell. One of, these, one of these things gets you in its mouth, you're done. <laughs> yeah, no, don't get eaten by these. Um, okay. And you see the. I assume you're sitting, Senshi. You see the form of Senshi in the cell. You, you can describe what uh, you Basically, what you would see is the. Uh, I'd, I'd just be sitting there, um, like, you know when people are, like, slumped up against the wall, like, head between their knees, like, arms draped over, just kind of, like, looking down, like, doesn't even seem to notice you yet. Perfect. As you guys... Obviously very deep in thought. <laughs> As you guys approach Senshi, um, Chris and Mal's make a con save. Really? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I am somehow proficient. I Yay smell me! that bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are we Not rolling just what happened to us? So, wait, let me read it again. I just posted it. Um. So, as you guys look upon Senshi in this dark cave, you're going to begin seeing sort of different colors and hallucinations uh, begin to occur. And they sort of sort of like mushroom trip. Uh, you passed, Mal, so you'll only experience it for half the time. And Which Matt... Is <laughs> God 
damn it! Four hours. So oh, for the next no. two hours, so they're gonna be tripping. And, and oh. Chris, for the next eight hours, you're tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping balls too. <laughs> <laughs> These dogs are not my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does this just take effect? Yeah. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> I immediately start rocking back and forth, and for some reason it feels like the room is not staying still, and I'm, I am staying still. But out, outwards, you see, I'm just rocking, like, in different directions back and forth. And then, I, do, are the dogs making noise at all? Growls. Oh my god. I'm a, I am, like, I am, like, turning around constantly, like, where is that coming from? <laughs> I'm just like my back against the cage, heavy breathing, staring straight at the dogs. And they're like, we're going to eat you, little guy. <laughs> I'm like, ah! Yeah, Miles, as you turn, you definitely see, I don't even know what the dogs would look like. Like Cerberus. Yeah, they're big. They, they're yeah, they're, they're massive. massive Cerberus like Cerberus. There's yeah, definitely like their eyes are red. They're drooling. It's horrifying. I oh oh god! Uh, okay, sent, sent I you, realize... you hear a form sort of bang against the cage as well. At least Chris, you know, yeah, I, himself there. I'd, I'd raise my head and be like, C -c "Chris Melzahar." I'd I'd get up and I'd be like, "The girl is the girl okay?" I hear this. <laughs> You can hear this. I don't know if you understand this. It's up to you. You play like a person. Well, no. Now I hear the like the I'm afraid of the dog because I turn around and there's a giant <laughs> demon with horns just fucking yelling at me. <laughs> like, I'm going to curse your soul to hell. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, and so I'm like fighting the temptation to unsheathe my fucking twin blade. <laughs> you guys oh, don't handle your what? ice cream very well. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Oh man, I did something to the ice cream and it's tripping. Wait, did you do something to my ice cream? <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> well, um, we're just here to tell you that uh, Chris is going to be your lawyer for the the hearing. Demon, what you done with Senji? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me you are joking. Second, the girl, is she okay? How can anyone really mistake Senji for this that. demon if this is what attacked the girl? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I she's am, a, uh, I, my mother's I am Senji Malza. Oh, I actually oh. said she, but he's like wet. I cautiously back away from the bars if she steps towards them. Mother, mother saved uh, the girl and Tammy. That is very fortunate. I also have the skeleton. If you want to look at one, I immediately look up at the dancing skeletons, and I'm. I don't even know. I'm like There's mimicking the skeletons two. in the background. There's like <laughs> hundreds of them, like hundreds of floating skeletons above me now. Oh God! When you just and see I'm, a bunch of spiders, you... they're just like falling out of everywhere. Ah! Yeah, basically. But it's like it's not threatening. They're all just dancing still. Maybe that is threatening. I don't know. I no, I start dancing in their same pattern, like Chris. I guess now I'm like. If they're just eyes. showing up now. I would be like I back up right the hell away and be like, where did those beasts come from? Oh, the ice cream. So, are, you ice cream. Even, are you here? F they like, when you eat it, they just like appear. <laughs> uh, is it hot in here? Is it? Is it like, can they turn up? Almond the forehead moment. Can they, like, it's... Is, like, banging is, head against the wall. Is there a, I don't know, a vent or something? Don't worry, we're really the best hot. legal team around. I start, like, taking, like, I, I don't know if I can, like, unbutton 
my like stir coat or some shit. I'm like, what is? Filthy. Oh my god. Did you come here for a actual reason, or are you just here to taunt me? Because right now it seems like you're just here to taunt me. To be honest, I'm just happy that I'm I'm uh I'm not the one in trouble. But I hope everything turns out okay. I'm sure you are. Concern for the group has been quite evident as of late. Concern for the who now? Oh. Sylphie is like a Chris. tiny child thing <laughs> and talking to the demon. And it is not cool that they both speak the same language. <laughs> nah, dude, it's just Chris, a wet senshi. The... Chris, did you tell the group about the witch and how she's in the city? Alzaha, the, the jack oh that we fought at the witch's pumpkin Wait. patch. That I heard one in the alleyways on guard duty. I informed Frederick about it. You should ask him about, about the occurrence, regardless of what happens to me. The city must be protected, but it is very good to hear that the girl is okay. All you I say hear that is, you will be oh, like, oh, 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 oh. like this entire time. I'm seeing his like mouth open and close, and I'm just like nothing. Like it's like almost like I'm seeing white noise. Your face is like melting. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, like my jaw has dropped. And I'm just like looking at him like, uh. I just scream and run out. <laughs> hey, oh, I. I don't know what's happening with them, to be completely honest about that. But the actual reason we came here uh, is because I think we wanted to see if you had, like, a will or something in case things go really bad. And I then run we, after like, Chris. It. <laughs> I have passed the dogs. I have nothing on my person, so... I can write something. I would be unable to provide you. The people that are no point. Would you actually? Yes. I, well, I did it. I don't know what you think of me, but I do. It is my goal to help this party. Very well then. That's it to my my sister Mikasa. Tell her that I failed to please father and. He was right to send me away. I've failed the family once again. Failed myself. Failed my friends. Failed her. And most importantly, failed Arendale, who I had sworn to protect. And most of all, express this to Teresa if she would have the knowledge. I know she must have extremely mixed feelings about hearing from me, but I want her to know I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought she was in danger, and apparently I was in grievous error in that assumption. I'm so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know or if I can ever make it up to her, but I'd like to try. In the case, in any case, I would like the 500, um... I had, let me just see on my person what I actually had. By the way, Lauren, um, as I was running by the guard, can I just say, be beware of that horn demon as I'm like running by them? Yep. Okay, perfect. I want that on the record. Oh no. Um, so I'd continue saying I have 421 gold pieces in that um, coin purse of mine like to create some sort of fund in which I can deposit some money over the years, perhaps make it so she has a bright future and that money will be delivered onto her, uh, like, at her coming of age, whatever legal age is in Arendale. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what my last will and testament, I guess, would be. Uh, Sophie will finish up uh, writing in her journal and she'll she'll nod um then before uh, she, like she'll look back and see that everybody else is gone she'll be like well uh 
for the few days that we were together, it was an honor to fight by your side. I still have mixed feelings about you, depend from what I heard you, your mother say, but if your words are true, <clears throat> if you really do want to help this party, then it's best to leave my fate to the, uh, the, uh, the, the city and not try to get involved. We will leave it to the proper legal system. If I feel as though Malzahar and Chris right, are not in their bright minds. <laughs> well, Sinji, I think it's best I go. I yell across the room. Hey, Demon! Uh, so oh. he's, so he's gonna finish uh, the finishing touches on a drawing as she was ignoring Sinji's last <laughs> uh, words, and it's her holding Malzahar's and hand in was. front of a guillotine <laughs> with Sinji in it. And she just closes her journal and leaves. As she walks away, if she gets like halfway like towards the dogs, I'll be like, Stilfy. Yes. Tell them I'm sorry. She'll smile and nod. Like a sad smile, not like a big smile. Yeah. I get it. You're you're playing the part. I I, I get it. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, yeah, so you guys can leave. The guards will definitely be eyeing up Chris and Mal's in a yeah, very weird way. Whoever's at the front desk, I want to be like, we need water, man. <laughs> Please don't talk. <laughs> For some reason, Chris is the only person who's not, like, super different. So I'm, like, following him, like, Chris, what's going on? <laughs> When you're tripping together and you're like, this is a safe place for us. Sylphie keeps like morphing into Miss Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just super tiny following us, like a little Chobot type thing. You can see different things. Great uh, chibi. Miles, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so the guard, I guess, will get you a glass of water and then shoot you out. But, uh, oh. Um. It's Sky and Tammy, are you, what do you guys want to do? Like, we can fast track things if you guys are sort of. Yeah, what I'm, would you like to do in the, I'm gonna the next? Turn to Tammy and I'm, uh, I'm going to turn to Tammy and I'm going to say, "But uh, Teresa, is she okay?" Yeah, just don't worry. I made sure of it. We might have to deal with the choice, but for now, she's she's fine. Why? What? Why do we have to deal with the choice? Tammy's gonna look around and like see if anyone's overhearing. There's definitely people everywhere. They've just been walking around you, but this is a busy dock. You are getting All weird right. looks. <laughs> Tammy's gonna drag Sky over to the side, where it's still there's a lot of people and uh, noise, but no one's staring at them, and they're not in the middle of the road. <laughs> Perfect. And she's going to be like, Sky, can you keep a secret? Uh, <laughs> what? What secret? I mean, what okay, is... You know what? No, no, you, you, no, it's okay. You're you're going through a lot. I'll, I'll... No, uh, but what, what were you about to say? Well, I don't know how to feel about it, but Miss Choi was wanting to adopt Teresa. The thing is, I have concerns looking nope. at Sylphie that that's probably Sky is shaking your head like no no as you're okay. as you're continuing All no right, she's not up. yeah didn't think so I I'm, I'm immediately like going to make a beeline for the orphanage and I will follow. Thank you, Tammy. No worries. I've got your back, but keep an eye on Sylvia, all right? Sense. I don't trust her. Not with my life. Not at all. No, I'm starting to see that now, too. I'm going to go back to the orphanage. 
than with Tammy, I guess. Sweet. Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know how to do the timing. You guys were kind of a long time there, but you can make your way to the orphanage. What are Mal, Sylphie, and Chris wanting to do? Uh, Sylphie would return to like the orphanage where everybody was, like trying to bring uh, Melzahar and Chris along. And she's also making sure to hold uh, Melzar's hand because he can't really defend himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, f I hold Malzahar's other hand. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I got back at a good fucking time now. These are calming press. <laughs> Why would you? Your They're calming. <laughs> Your hands are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. Well Wait, no. If they both hold my hands, like, Chris is fine. But, like, I don't understand how... Sylphie can reach me from down here, and her hand is stretched down a long, 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 long arm down to her body. And I'm just like, ah! You just feel like a giant holding little kids' hands, like. Yeah, like the tiniest hand stretched really far away from the actual person. <laughs> um, but she's leading the way to the orphanage. Like, ah, dude, I'm glad you know where you're going. <laughs> I, oh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I've I'm going. I've never seen ice cream do that to someone. <laughs> I've had it multiple times. It's never done that to me. Uh, but you guys can reach the orphanage. And just for fun's sake, you arrive at the same time that Sky and Tammy are sort of storming oh, through the doors. I was hoping I'd see something that would scare me along the way. And I was going to run off into the city. Uh, well, you can definitely, you do see, like, people along the streets. It's still, like, six o'clock. Does o anything even remotely resemble the shape and or likeness of a goose? Tammy's <laughs> tail? Um, um, no, you don't pass the pet There's shop. A large so other than people. It's like... like, is there anybody in a white t-shirt? Yes. yes. Yeah. You can freak out whatever you'd like. <laughs> Nah, uh, let's give Tammy and Chris or and uh, Sky a chance before I <laughs> no, no, go for it, dude. Go for it. I see yeah, Mal's panicking, it. and I like go over like, no, dude. just relax, man. You gotta ride the wave. <laughs> but Chris, have I... you not noticed? There's gooses. We're surrounded. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. <laughs> <laughs> but they're everywhere. Oh my god, god that. We need, totally we need to get inside. <laughs> we need more water. There's gooses. We need, we need shelter. Where? I don't see and any gooses. And I, and I like shake the hand watching the wave go down the arm, like in a big wave motion down <laughs> the arm towards <laughs> Silpy. And it's like really slow-mo and weird. And I'm like, we need to get to cover. We're surrounded. We're, we're both like moving in slow-mo. What is going on? <laughs> uh, we, um, we went to see Senshi and... Uh, something happened along the way and now uh, Chris and Melzahar are not themselves. The blue ghost. She's talking to a blue ghost. Oh, wait, are the skeletons still on my shoulder? <laughs> no, it's been past 15 okay, minutes. Sure. <laughs> Melzahar, it's me. They're, they're uh... me, 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 what is me. The, Chris, me. what is the ghost saying to us? Something about I don't know, me? <laughs> What about me? You? Is it trying to take your soul? <laughs> Hold me tight. I pick up Chris oh and I run. <laughs> what, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! I pick up Chris and I run. I'll like Chris. And it's like it's, you got your hand on his head. Bad ah! trip, man. Bad trip. <laughs> awesome. You guys just run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh no. I haven't seen anything that weird since uh, my mentor accidentally ate the wrong mushroom once. Yeah, they're. Yes. They're, uh. I think they're high. Yeah. You must have gotten what something from the horses. I didn't. Wh why are you accusing me? Because you're the only responsible adult there, apparently. She's not an adult. <laughs> Tammy's just rolling her eyes when she but... says this. But we, uh, we did, we did see Senshi. 
and um well i'm the only one that talked even though i was it wasn't even my idea but yeah that that's about it and now we're back here what were you two doing He's just like, coming back here, and I, I gotta talk to mom real quick. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, I've gotta help Sky here. Uh, see if you can't go get the others back, please. And she waves Sylphie off as she follows Sky in. Uh, Sylphie's gonna go and try and find Malzahar and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah! Excuse me, kind <laughs> green screen. <laughs> Chris will never find us here. Malzahar jumps off the island. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we get to find out that there is a safety net on the <laughs> round the <laughs> island. <laughs> for the you lay in a magical net beneath the island that slowly feeds when towards the center. The center they've got, got me. Like they've <laughs> got me. <laughs> Please actually jump off. That would be hilarious. No. Yeah. It would be. I yeah, feel like right. common knowledge should be to not jump off the island. I have, in to, any yeah, scenario. I have to somehow. I have to somehow even get to the edge. I don't even know where that is. I mean, if you run in a specific direction long enough, I'll hit a wall. You'll find it. Uh, I don't know how to deal with you guys running off, so we'll go to Sky and Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go see Mum. Like I. Uh, is she in uh, Teresa's room still, or? Oh, yeah. Are you going to Teresa's room first? Yeah. Like, is uh, Mum there? I'm gonna yeah. so start you, calling for her. As you open the door to Teresa's room, Mum is still sitting quietly beside her desk. There's a magical light lit uh, at the run one room, but it's relatively dark in there, like a person at rest. <laughs> Uh, Sky's gonna kind of go in. She's like, "Is Teresa getting adopted by Miss Choi?" Uh, Mum's head's gonna whip around to you. Uh, her brow is gonna like furrow in, in a little bit of anger and ire, and without speaking, she's gonna rise from her seat beside Teresa and walk towards you, essentially backing you out of the room as she does so, and then closes yeah. the door. And, and she's I back like, up. First of all, we have rules in this house. You know not to enter a room without knocking. Secondly, yes, Teresa is being adopted. Although where you learned this knowledge, I'd like to know. Mom, you cannot let that happen. Sky, you are an adult and I am an adult. And I run this orphanage. And when children get adopted, it is a very important, exciting thing to happen. Why are you against it? Background this check. Is my fault. Why. This is my fault. Nothing Everything. is your fault. It's fine. It was I'm, an accident. That eye that that eye that you were uh, that you saw me have before got loose in the orphanage and scared Teresa. I picked I'm, up this eye on my my journeys while I was out adventuring for the princess yes i remember this is my fault I'm what sorry. does that have to do with teresa's adoption i this wouldn't have had to get to that her being adopted if or her like to miss choi mama it's, uh, mama's gonna take your face between her hands and she's gonna be like miss choi is a nice person she has strange ways of doing things, yes. She has money and greed issues, yes. But she is a good mother. We have done background checks. We have worked with her before. She is a good parent. You have no reason to judge or even judge my decisions. You should trust that I have chosen many good parents for many people, children coming to my orphanage. I think you need time and you're very stressed. None of this is your fault. But you can't make this decision. Yeah, Sky just kind of use her new thing, right? She's like kind of taking it in. She'll like pet your head. Like... Big old mom hug. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, she's going to hug you, and she'll see Tammy kind of standing off awkwardly, too, and she'll open her arm for you to come in as well, Tammy. She will. It's going to be awkward, but she will. <laughs> big old mom hug. It's a big old mom hug. Old mom yeah. Hug. She's like half orc or full orc, too, so it's like a bear hug. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's a big hug. Uh, you definitely feel the strength behind it, but it's also very gentle. She's done this before. She's hugged many children in states of distress. Um, and she's going to let you guys go after a little while. And she's going to say, I think you need to take some time away from the orphanage. Tammy's just going to lead Sky yeah. out. You're right. Um, listen, I also uh, damaged the back wall over there. Full transparency. Her eyebrows uh, kind of like crease a little bit. <laughs> uh, full transparency. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I will pay for the damages and I'm going to hand back um, 500 gold. And, uh, she'll wave off the money and she's like, I understand that emotions were really high and I can fix the, the wall it's not an issue i already have to replace part of it um timmy got some fire powers which are you know new but hey why well, deal with the things oh, well, maybe you can maybe you can go to some good for teresa whatever she wants oh Those no are... timmy got fire power <laughs> she's gonna close your hand on the money and she's gonna be like you need to keep your money right now and focus on you focus on what good you can do. You need to let go of the orphanage. I know it's been your home for a really long time and I will always be your family. We will always be your family. But try to spend some time on you, okay? Worry about you. You need to take that time. We'll be okay. Teresa will be okay. All right, I'll... I'll see you around, Mom. I give her a hug, and then I... Uh... She takes another full force hug, and she's like, I love you, my <laughs> darling. Love you, too. She says, I promise I... she'll be okay. Thank you, ma'am. I... She nods to you. But, uh, yeah, then I, I leave, and then I go looking for... I go to, to turn to Tammy and I'm just like, where do you think they took off to? Right now? <laughs> right now? That's their problem. Let's come on, let's let's, let's go, go have some real time, okay? And when it comes to the Choi thing, we can keep an eye on Teresa and let her Miss Choi know that she's being watched. Yeah. How about I that? I'm sorry, I jumped. I jumped the gun on that. That was my bad. I no, I, you wouldn't have jumped the gun if I hadn't given you the ball. She's so, she's so shady. She's so shady. <laughs> she is. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure her daughter wants to. I'm pretty sure they both want to off me. So, oh, don't say anything oh, about oh, that. Though. Oh, fuck no, that is not happening, girl. No, it's not. And then I like walk you over. Where are we going? Anyways. Problems for problems later. Now, girl time. I'm sensing some shopping. All right. All right. Uh, you guys go shopping and oops, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? I definitely have a list, by the way, but I can give that to you in the chat. <laughs> uh, I like to RP shopping, but we can do that later. Okay, uh, we'll do that later. You guys aren't. Matt. Can you fly? Uh, no. Well, hold on. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> it's possible. Um, essentially, as time goes by, you've sort of been left alone in this cage. No food or water has been brought to you. Um, but after a time, you're going to see the door open and both the guards are going to stand up and the dogs don't growl at all as three figures enter the room. First is um, a the short halfling Lawrence that you recall is the Minister of Justice. Following him uh. is the dwarf Rogan, your minister. And then uh. a nondescript um, citizen you are not familiar with. 
most likely a witness. Okay. I'm gonna go to my notes. So they are going to nod to the guards uh, and have them essentially take you to another room for questioning, or I guess they can do it in here. Uh, they approach you in your cell. I, I I would like stand to attention kind of thing as they get there. Um, Rogan looks at you, his f uh, brow furrowed, and but Lawrence is the one who talks first, and he's going to be like, uh, "Senchi Yukana of the Yukana clan." Uh, the situation as we understand it is you have committed an attempt of violence on a minor. What do you have to say? <sighs> it is true, technically. I. It was not the intention of my, like, it was not my intention to assault the girl, as has been described, but sadly this has happened. Can you explain the situation? Oh, you witnessed, yes. As you saw it. I can explain. I was approaching the uh, shop of Scrum Digiliumchus with Frederick closely following behind me as we were finishing guard duty and from what i saw were some skeletal creatures i have never seen the like before and i had believed them to be assaulting the child i rushed forward to gore one of said creatures hoping to save the child but apparently from what i have been told these were harmless magical illusions produced from frozen dairy treats had i done so i would not have acted such way but i come from a place where magic is frowned upon people of that nature are shunned to the outside of our society i thought i was protecting the girl i've never seen something like that before and i had jumped to conclusions I am most, most sorry for what has happened, and I am more concerned with the welfare of the girl. I have been told that she is all right, but it is from what I would call a not-so-reputable source. Is she indeed okay? From the reports that we have, uh, Teresa is still yet unconscious, so we are not familiar with the mental trauma the incident has occurred on her however yes her bodily harm has been repaired now let us talk about why you decided to attack on first sight of what you were unknown just skeletons in the street and decided to take vigilante justice did you not decide to take a moment to look at the situation? Was anybody else you no know, acting shocked or appalled? No, I had hastily jumped to conclusions. I was afraid and shocked and, at these apparitions. And you said magic casters, so instead of attacking the skeletons, which should you not have been searching for the individual who had created them? My priority was the girl's safety. I thought she was being harmed in some way. And instead of giving her safety, you, uh, it appears, impaled her on your horns. I had misstepped. Uh, Rogan is now going to speak up, and he's like, I am in charge of the safety of my citizens, and the people within it, and through this means, we provide guards on sentry patrolling the city. There are also many wards around to keep outside forces from causing bodily harm to our city, and yet you decided, after a patrol in which you were supposed to experience the safeguards within our city, that that this was the action, that 
attacking near citizens was the right action, even if they were skeletons attacking the little girl. Would you have raised a blade towards her? Could you not have called out to your friends who you said were nearby? We know we're nearby. They have reported on this. I was not thinking properly. I had made a grievous error, as I have stated. And I am sorry and ashamed of what has happened because of it. And it's going to be Lawrence again, and he's going to be like, all right, well... The situation, as we see events and uh, your explanation, currently, Senshi Yukana, you are being charged for attempted manslaughter of a minor. How do you plead? If that is your judgment, then I suppose I would have to plead guilty. As stated- I object. He doesn't have a lawyer present. This is Arendelle Law, so shut the fuck also, up. Also, Senshi, they listen, know you didn't listen. attempt shit. It was accidental manslaughter. <laughs> uh, manslaughter was, is was, the accidental murder, so. It, it, it so is just manslaughter. manslaughter. Is yeah, but it's attempted because she didn't die. But, but, technically. Although technically she did. It was accidental. <laughs> it was assault with a deadly weapon. So, it is the law around here, apparently. Uh, it's Lawrence like is Avatar. the minister. Of justice. That's why they call it justice. It's just us. <laughs> <laughs> There's two guards as a witness. Um, so, Lawrence, as per Arendelle Law, you have um, pled your case in front of a panel, which is myself, Rogan, and uh, Brian here. Brian, say hello. Brian's like, hi. Um, with your plea of oh, not er, Brian. with your plea of guilty, uh, we will each pass down on the panel a punishment we deem fit for the crime. I will go first, and due to the accidental nature of your uh, shit <laughs> incident. Um, <laughs> But the trauma caused to the young girl, you will pay a fee of 5,000 gold pieces to her person. If you cannot pay the sum, this will be taken from the sale of your effects. And then Rogan will say, as the Minister of Defense, I am most concerned about the safety you are to the public on a number of instances now. And my punishment will be that your horns will be clipped and they will be kept filed uh, for a period of at least one year, at which point you can appeal the ruling. And Brian will then say, I can't decide, so I will give you a choice. You can either be banished from Arendelle, never to return, or you can seek redemption by receiving a NATO badge from Lieutenant Colonel Bigsby. But I don't want you to decide right now because you, you're prone to making very hasty decisions as we have now witnessed. And so I think three days in the stockade should give you ample time to consider what you'd like. May I ask what a NATO badge is? No longer a threat to others. You will do this by usually completing a set of trials or tasks Lieutenant Colonel has laid out for you. These vary depending on the person. It's mostly to assure that you can control yourself and protect those around you without having other incidents such as this. I see. So, enjoy your time in the stockade. <laughs> Goodbye. And they all like turn around. But so Lawrence and Brian will leave, but Rogan will stay for a second. And Rogan will say, there's always, always a 
the time before you need to attack. Always, there's something else you can do. Take the time, think about it. You should always take that time. I'm disappointed. And he'll walk it. I bow my head in shame. <laughs> and we leave to Arendelle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Chris, uh, Mal's, where you running? Go somewhere nice, like uh, under a tree. <laughs> Not quite. Hey, well, the so I honestly, it now. If there's a straight line, I'd run the straight. If it hits a dead end, I'll 50 50 left or right. And then if I run into Silphy, Sky, or anybody, I'm going to like try and run the opposite way until I get boxed in. At least for the next, I don't know, hour and a half. Do we, uh, do we see them? Uh, everybody roll me three d20s. <laughs> Two. Do I count? Because I'm being carried? <laughs> Mouse oh, won't no. let me go. I'm like, well, yo. <laughs> Maybe you point, I don't know. You're making me seasick. <laughs> well, I fucked all my rolls. Oh, uh, Sylphie and Tammy will see Mal's. Eventually. After quite a few turns, you guys are stumbling around, running everywhere. And you know what? Just to make it nice, you guys will eventually find him on a northern... Oh! Um, oops. Please don't let her actually be... Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was my oops. Uh, on a northern dock that seems relatively empty. It's very nice, oh, though. Oh, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no. If Lord wants this to happen, that's why we're on this part of the map. She need to go yeah, somewhere quiet. Uh, so, Sky, you don't see them yet. It'll be Sophie and Tammy first. Oh, okay. Okay, so... You just kind of... You don't have to... Like... Here, I, I see like I, a tiny kitten walking alongside Sylphie now, and I'm like, "Where's the Where's the ghost?" <laughs> stop, Meltahar! Stop! Where's the ghost? Ah! The ghost! And I point at Sky behind them. Like, uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's blue. just Sky. Blue. Are they doing anything while this is happening? Who? Uh, Sylvie's gonna try and like chase after them. This is making ghost noises yeah. in here. Blue! Oh, okay. I'm running further until I get to like the edge. Uh, if Sylvie sees oh, him no. going towards the edge, he's gonna cast Hold Person with Sorcerer Points to put his save at a disadvantage and upcast it so it's on Chris as well. Tammy's booking it towards us, going, oh! What is that, a wisdom save or a charisma? That is... They have so to make a wisdom saving throw. Against my spell save. Uh, at disadvantage. C. At disadvantage. Oh. Which is 15. They have to be 15. <laughs> so he's held. He's I'm broke. double held yeah. now. <laughs> Still tripping, and now he's not movable. He's like, ah! something's wrong. <laughs> I have a minus one to wisdom, so and I have disadvantage. Yeah, he's disadvantage. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a pass? That's a fail. Yeah, Damn. You. So yeah, she freezes both of you with hold person. So it's okay. a concentration up to a minute. So Can I use inspiration to break out of it? No. Uh, 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 can I get? Uh, can I use inspiration for a final roll, not impose a disadvantage? Technically, yes. Okay. Because if I break out of this, Chris, I hope you know how to fly. <laughs> He's frozen. He can't <laughs> I'm <roll>. paralyzed. This <laughs> <laughs> is gonna be really, really bad for you. Like, it's gonna okay, be like. Okay. like his mouth like wide open. Final as wisdom as save. Too. Final wisdom save. Come on, Chris. It's gonna be like 20. throwing a garden gnome. 
Nah, nah. Yeah. It was almost a 19 was- and I was like, yes, this is where we finish the session. <laughs> Chris being <laughs> muted off the edge. Right. <laughs> how I'm going to play it out is, Chris, there's only one way for you to escape. You need to fly. And in my eyes, his arms turn into wings. <laughs> the gorilla will catch me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tammy and Sky, you see Sophie cast magic and essentially the forms of the fleeing Chris wait, I need and to, Mal. I need to roll wild magic in case wait, wait, wait. real bad happen. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. Earthquake would be. Oh my real god, good. watch her like oh launch us. It would be real Come, good. Do some, it. Some kind of force Stay damage. Away. Come on. Knock us over. No, no wild yeah. magic. Oh, damn uh, it. Question up. Hold person, does that just like. Is it like I'm basically glued to the ground as well as in place? Or does my body just stop instantly and can't move? Uh, so if you want to throw up the spell. Yeah, I can, I can put it. Okay, because I'm wondering if, like, you hold me, but then I'm in mid-run, and I just, like, tumble forward, but I just can't move. There it is. I upcasted it. Apparently we both have it. So Uh, I'm, like, paralyzed. I was paralyzed, I assume, mid-run. Do I perhaps stumble forward? No, I see it as magical sort of hands kind of clamping you down like when I imagine hold person okay. it's definitely like a you stop because you are forced magic stopped and frozen. So I'm like frozen in place wherever yeah, I imagine. She tracked yeah. beam. That's fine. She tracked okay. you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, I feel funny. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sky you can now see all of this. Tammy you also see this. Is there anything you guys want to do? I know Sophie saved the day. That's what you see. She's a hero. <laughs> Good job, Sophie. We got to make sure that they don't, uh, you know, that's a they don't fall go over the them. edge there. We should go get them. Yeah. Come on, Tammy. All right. Come on. Hey, come on, guys. Just so she realized that they're off their rockers right now. <laughs> Do we get a chance to break out before they get to us? It would take him yeah, more actually, than six seconds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is true. Make them safe. Yeah, okay. that's true. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Mal's breaks are just as sky. <gasps> I guess it's about 15 feet. Mal's over here. Come on, Mal's. Pet the kitty. The ghost! <laughs> Oh my god! Can you fly? I'm just rock solid. No! I'm gonna take that as a yes! Okay! Okay! Here's what we're gonna do! (laughs) (laughs) She throws me like a football. (laughs) (laughs) I think Mouse has more than 20 hit points. I'm oh, 60, fuck. bitch! No, damn it! You should have caused levitate on Chris. I don't <laughs> have a good idea. You do. Oh, but you're out of range. No, like, no, like I um, I used it to um, just launch Senshi up. Oh, yeah. How far do I throw Chris? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Mega strength straight up. Just straight up strength? I. Oh, wait. Chris, how much do you weigh? Stop that. Uh, um, with the items that I have on me right now, it says 86 pounds. Okay, plus probably okay. around another 80, 160 pounds. No, no, I'm like Excuse 20 me. pounds. Oh. <laughs> I'm less than 40. I think that's total weight, 86. Like, <laughs> I- items and me. It's okay. With a three, Malz is pretty much going to, like, throw you up, but you drop right in front of him on the precipice. I- I would have no, no. I would have been standing on the edge before I had thrown him. Okay. He, I would like if he wants to fall straight down, he would fall off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you yeet him, and he, yeah, like literally goes a foot forward, but then falls straight down off the edge of Arendale Dock, and that is where we will end the session. Perfect time. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go in four minutes. So, how did everybody think that went? Do you, do you like? Did but you, you play as good as it could have been? <laughs> Are you guys fucking with us? 
I mean, one day. That was so fucking good. What a crazy that fucking was dress. That was something else. <laughs> like, fuck, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Freak the fuck out. No, I had tons of fun. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I want to make sure you're okay with this. Because I get, like, I shouldn't, like, force too much on you. But I think I'm saving you. <laughs> Lauren did say a few times that there are nets. It's like you a know, Yeah, but you're though. tiny. How big are these net holes? Honestly, uh... I, I assume they could stop a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a magical force field around the island so things can't fall. Okay. They sort of like fall into a magical net. It all gets like moved to a different area where it's like <laughs> lost and found. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This trip's going to so, be terrible. Maybe like a warning goes off when a body actually falls so that like a ship can go and rescue them. They're like living form. Pew, 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 pew. And the little uh, skiff comes and rescues like, everybody. They've got no more tech. <laughs> Do we even like, know like, about this thing? Like, take Chris off. Uh, the three of you who live in Arendelle might, but Mal's and and Chris might not. Although Chris might assume that an island has a safety net. Not in this situation. Okay. Yeah, definitely not in this. <laughs> I was like, send me to the moon, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. Warp speed, engage. <laughs> How do we feel about the punishments? Uh huh. Seems fair. So but no trial. Five thousand. <laughs> he admitted guilt to it. There's too many choices. He admit guilt. Right. There's no choices. You only get the two: banishment or get a NATO badge. The other two things are happening. Ooh. I I gotta go, guys. Uh, but great session, learn and keep the discussion all that. Fill me in later. Uh, I'll talk to you, everyone, next Bye. time. All right. Bye. 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 I felt mm. so bad listening to. And she's like, <laughs> like I, I had my notes open and I was like, I was trying to think of ways that like I could rationalize Sylvie doing it because I felt so bad. I wrote it all <laughs> down too. I was, and then I was like, she just, she wouldn't even write it. And then I just went with it. Yeah, it's perfect. It was so sad. Like, I felt <laughs> so bad. I can't like emphasize it. <laughs> How did Sky feel oh. about being told to like leave the orphanage alone? Uh... Yeah, no, that's pretty of an hurt. Eye opener. Yeah, mom sees it as like you're not growing. You have to move on. In an orphanage, mm -hmm. like you want it, adopting is a good thing. Yeah. Miss Troy is I a prominent was... businesswoman. She is. Yeah, like I guess Sky was just concerned with like the whole fucking thing going on, but like, yeah, she was just trying to like. Uh, fix her mistake basically and like thinking about like you know like if I get rid of the eye I have like I can fucking you know get rid of the part of the problem and then you know uh, she came back and she's like oh fuck no like <laughs> yeah she was just like no yeah you had a good cry with me sorry oh no I was just saying you had a good cry with you it feels like it came full circle. Did you enjoy from that large yeah, or like was that kind of like... <laughs> I enjoyed it. I had fun. I pretty much had the adoption thing planned. I didn't expect Tammy to listen in on it. It was supposed to happen in like two days after like the other thing and all of a sudden, yeah, she'd show up later or we'd just be disappeared. Tammy's suspicious as hell. <laughs> She's got good reason to. Like, <laughs> suspicious of Sylphie when she's not the one that murdered a child. She's done nothing <laughs> wrong. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah, Mal's just yeeted the person off the edge of the dock. I wonder if cops will come for yeah. that. We have it on camera. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny with you and uh, you and Matt there, there, like you and Malzahar. The dogs were so funny. I was like, really? They're that big? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> if they're on the map, I can't change their size. They are actually like six times the size of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they you will fit in their mouth. They are dire mastiffs. 
That's another thing. I wasn't expecting to be the one like actually talking to Sen <laughs> during that. I was like, I'm and I'm like, oh gosh. Yeah, when Matt went into the Scrum Diddly Amptious, he messaged me and he's like, I'm going to drug the ice cream. And I was like, cool. Oh no. Uh, That's funny. Yeah, and he rolled his stealth. Everything was fine. Uh, and then I, it, it takes, I figured a little bit to take effect. So as you guys travel to see the uh, see Senshi. <laughs> And then it took it back at the perfect time. Was the reason I didn't have to roll because of the wild magic that's still on me? No, you, no, weren't, you weren't drugged. drugged. No, I didn't drug yours. Oh. Even though Chris let you drink beer, this is, he didn't know this drug. <laughs> but he knew of it, so uh, yeah, he just gave it to Miles. Miles needed to chill out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, on the spot, I'm like, what would Sophie even say in this situation? <laughs> yeah. It just kind of in happened. All fairness, it was it was such poor timing. <laughs> yeah, we're just about to talk to you, and all of a sudden we're both yeah. like, Whoa. <laughs> Excellent RPing, everyone, but holy shit. Yeah, it was, I think that was, yeah, really, really good on everybody's part. Everybody, inspiration. Yeah, good job I was tonight. Trying very yeah. hard to it's like. Senshi, oh my god, dude. Like, my the shit. self realization, like, <laughs> you were on fire tonight. <laughs> that was yeah. sort of the whole plan with this character like literally like the idea is like he's basically going through the zuko transformation being like rough rowdy hot-blooded tempered shit to yeah, being an actual word word. true samurai i caught it yeah i did i know my air <laughs> I'm tempted to try I'm and draw him without his horns now. Yeah, I am excited to. That's, that's right. my main. That's my. That's that's my main worry, though. It's like, ah, oh, that's so crippling. And like, would the group even want him back? Like, he's very indecisive. Of like, should I just leave? Do I even deserve to be here anymore after what happened? Like, <laughs> it's very. He's got three yeah, solid days to know. figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. time to go. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, you have time to think it out. They knew you rushed decisions, so here's three days. <laughs> I like that. It, it took was, me a long time to a figure out what to do. Part. And I wanted to stick you in the I stockade, too. a very good call. Good call, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I wasn't there the whole time while I was waiting for the trial. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I at least got a private cell, no cabbages being thrown at my horns. Yeah, they had to, you know, investigate. Try to get a tomato on the horn, Timmy. Get reports on it. They don't just, you know, there's law. <laughs> They'll look into it a bit. Had you said not guilty, though, that's when it would have gone to trial and everybody was going to be part of the trial. It was going to be great. I was kind of excited for it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I figured He's, you would he... say guilty. Mm-hmm. Just in case, I he had the option. clearly did something wrong, and there must be consequences. You will learn patience. You will learn. It's part of his character. Yeah. Essentially, you're honestly, essentially not you... so bad. Like I could. That's probably like the sword. You know, and then I would just have to be without my magic sword, which seems like a decent trade-off. It's just the horns. You're that's like <laughs> identity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I was considering <laughs> branding and renaming you. Renaming like Ronin oh, like, on the table for dishonor. It's like straight up slave shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Auction him off to the pie is bitter. That was also an option. We were really like, oh man, having uh, Francesca show up and being like, no, I'll take him. Like, I'll treat him as a male. We definitely need breeders. <laughs> that was good too. Gets branded and like, cleaned. And... Is, is it, are the males in Francesca's society, are they just like kept in pages and farmed for their semen? Because this is what it sounds like. You've the criminal ones. Breeders. Yeah. You've seen Clone Wars, right? <laughs> Like the, uh, the oh, animated God. series, oh, no, God. you know, like oh, the witch tribe uh, and Darth Maul's like people, how they're the same, and the witches are the dominant. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, oh. and then, so the males are sort of. Oh. Just, oh, that's a lot cooler. Yeah, sort of that scenario. Mm -hmm. Women oh. are the dominant. I was picturing like hippopotamuses. 
They're like Moto Moto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but legit though, even though you've had your horns like cut off out in the field, like if you had like little horn caps or something, that could look really cool. <laughs> oh, you so, can like, do bludgeoning horns. damage now. It's just head just head butt thing. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's how it works, but you can do one out, to I guess. Do Great idea. Yeah. Would you attack I that way again, that though? <laughs> I would use it, like, only if my life depended on it after this experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe putting my head down and running isn't the best decision. My Weird. <laughs> yeah, well, well, no, because, like, that's why I was talking to Sophie about, like, in the letter being, like, father was right to send me away because I was gonna have it in my backstory that like basically like yeah like I talked up in a meeting and my dad fucking like basically agni guide me and sent me off and was like you may come back when you are someone worthy to bear the name kind of thing and that's why I'm even doing this in the first place is because like I can be like look at me dad I'm fucking hand of the princess you know yeah but not going so good so far <laughs> yeah and if Teresa had sent the letter it was going to be like okay like they now know of what you've done and I can integrate them you mean we'll Sophie? See, see. but Sophie didn't yeah who did I say you said mm -hmm. Teresa oh. oh and the trauma know, for that's Teresa what, that's what I love oh my god that oh god me. that's the oh, worst make her evil that is the worst <laughs> honestly uh, that's my worry there's me fucking like evil. the worst outcome of everything is the fact that she was adopted by miss Choi. Uh, i think it, it took <laughs> it was a I, lot of time figuring that out it was cool i'm so excited for silk that was cool was, that was a really cool aspect yeah because i was I, so I, tempted I to hear that <laughs> i'm so offended like after she finds out that she's the sister, like right now she just doesn't really care. But like when she finds out that it's her new little oh. sister, she's like you hurt my sister. <laughs> Ooh, see, and we weren't sure how Sophie would I was take so it or not. We were like, oh, is, is oh. Sophie gonna like it or is she gonna be jealous? She's like, gonna be gonna very, happen? very happy. Miss Troy is going to give the new girl all her attention. <laughs> <laughs> when when you guys were there saying that, there could be only was one. So I was so tempted to make the joke of just being like, maybe, maybe it would have been better if she died. This, this seems like a fate worse than death. To be another Sylvie, like yeah, next you see how see she her. treats. Her. She just bows. Yeah, no She's like covered in like welts and stuff. No, not at all. She made just terrifying. Sophie sleep in the sleep outside though. She's almost an adult. She didn't even un try to like knock or get into the house. She was just like, I, <laughs> oh no. Uh, I, oh yeah, I accept this. She kind of looked in her pocket and been like, I have a key. <laughs> There's clear rules at Miss Choi's place. Be yeah. home by nine or don't be home at all. <laughs> <laughs> or you sleep with Bartholomew. It's warm in there. He provides warm. There's a blanket. It's fine. Oh, I've been planning to call Bartholomew Bart for so long. Be like, I need to go see Bart because <laughs> he's got my stuff. I was excited for everyone to be like, who the hell is Bart? We know Bart. Ah, oh, that was fun. What are you guys going to do next session? <laughs> I guess find no Chris. Idea. Fly no, like an eagle. Cool. Well, I know yeah, what I'm going to be doing next session. <laughs> I got to find a stock Girl agent. Just got Girl time just got majorly interrupted. Like, ow. Yeah, this night, this day just keeps getting like worse and worse. <laughs> For the boys, yay! Just as we see like Chris and Mal's like running high in the city, and then just like get Chris just gets yeeted off the fucking dock, <laughs> frozen in place too, so we can't even move or scream. Just <laughs> as he falls. I'm I'm just gonna be picturing them coming up to Senshi in like the stocks in like a day or something, and them just being like, "So while you were in jail, like explain." Maid Song 2.0. <laughs> yeah, especially after Maid Song, they've they've erected if they did not have before. <laughs> Island catchers. That was. I assume. Island catchers. 
I mean, well, logically, on a floating world island, of floating island, things yeah. would fall off at some point. <laughs> Small children learning to walk on their yeah, bicycles. Yeah. I assume there's a magical system of like, things around. Cool if they were like invisible, so you you were like afraid the whole time you're falling, and then something just catches you, and you're like, ah, oh, I'll save magic. It's a good way to keep suicides low too. Yeah, I picture it like it's 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 invisible until you hit it, and then it's sort of like as an ambient color, like a and then like spreads throughout the net oh, so you can cool. see that it's there. And like if you tried to walk on it, you could see it because you're touching it. I can, wrong, wrong. I can imagine the feeling of relief. You're like, oh my fucking god, that was terrifying. <laughs> or goodbye, cruel world. Damn it! Boing. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done stunts in rock <laughs> concerts before. It's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worse drugs than this, too. This one's pretty crazy. This one got out of hand real quick. <laughs> yeah. Matt did an amazing job with the visuals and like, the super that stretch was... rubbery arm. And yeah. yeah, I laughed hard. <laughs> How do we like seeing me? Was it good? Was it weird? Did anybody look? Uh, once in a while, yeah. Matt wanted I did. it. It was funny seeing you laugh and like reactions. This stuff was hilarious. Yes. Oh, you had uh, you had it streaming there, Lauren. Did you not change your settings in Roll Twenty? You can see my little picture there on video. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, oh. Well, no, I thought I did. Might have to reconnect a couple times. Yeah, and I had to, to reconnect a couple times during. Yeah, whenever I backed out there. Okay. But nobody's computers crashed during it, so that's great. I figured that might be an issue. Oh yeah. Everybody seemed Yay! good. Yay! All right. Using roll twenty. I was using um Discord on my phone the last time I tried doing this because sadly until um my new hard drive comes in I'm using my mom's old laptop and surprisingly it's working oh, there we pretty go. damn good so Lauren. yeah I just have Discord Hi, open in the actual browser yeah I like the browsers better than the apps whenever I use my laptop that's what I use mm hmm bam cool. This was really fun. I had a good time. Hey, I, uh, yeah, uh, I should probably get going. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All good. Um, so we're still on for Cobalt's eight thirty tomorrow or eight. Uh, I'm guessing yep, 830. You guys are able to uh, get on eight to eight or eight thirty, whatever, whatever time is. Best. All right. Sounds good. Do that. All right. Later, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for the session. Thanks. Bye. I can't figure out how to close my stuff. Oh, I thought everybody was leaving. Looks like it. Oh, oh it is over. Okay. Woo-woo. Bye. Bye.